Long time I've had a total system crash. I think about a year ago I was having some kind of PC issues and then they just, as these things do, just went away. Which was lovely, because I was contemplating uh, doing some upgrading, although it really, really isn't necessary. Especially for running such hot new AAA titles such as Open TTD and Caesar 3, which is on my mind. And so stronghold now that this song is playing. Anyway, let's not get too distracted. There are games in front of us right now. Brilliant games. Uh, okay, I need to remake, remake a line or two after that little blowout, but that should be easy enough. Uh, seen, this game does have auto saves, and it saved just after we made the industry down there, so we can continue on. I actually changed the auto save setting to be every month rather than every year now, just in case this starts being a bit more of a regular issue. Now, where were we? There was more than just that one, wasn't there? Um, it's coming out here, joining up like so. And yeah, this is where we did weird things with you, wasn't it? I wonder if I could do it differently now. For example, what if you came a lot? No, that would make very little sense. I was just trying to think of a way to comb it into this main line just for the hell of it, but probably doesn't make a lot of sense to do that. Right. Now I almost have to remember what I had set up here. It was probably you coming up to here and then making your way along to there. I think I did. Yeah, I had you linked into this in some way, somehow, but... A task for future, Jake, to emulate. For now, the only thing you really need to do is get over here. And you know what? You, you guys are... You guys can actually have your maintenance done over here. It'd be no biggie. Uh, can't have it done like that, though. That would be a 90 degree turn, and we do not engage 90 degree turns around here. There we go. Hmm. Doesn't want to... Oh, it wasn't coming out there. It was just perfectly disguised by the trees. Good job, trees. Along we come, and get our maintenance in. Did we already have the vehicles coming out here? We did! Oh good, we already had those vehicles set up. Lucky me. Right, that being the case, we just need to make our little train for the farming supply again. What was it? Was it the Scooby? We've probably the Scooby with the... Hmm... What was it? I was going by max speed, was I not? Don't suppose anybody can remember what we were putting our farming supplies in, can they? Pretty sure it was a Scooby, though. We don't need them to go that much faster. Although it's extra speed and power for no real cost, so we we'll love the plastic post box. And if it goes 140, then I want my vehicle to go 140. Anything more would be a waste. Probably these express vans, right? Well, whether it was or wasn't that, that seems to work just fine. And we want you to fill up here. Get maintenance if needed, drop it off there, and then get maintenance on the way back if needed, and activate. If you're going to connect baby station to the main line, make sure the receiving end is not linked to the livestock station, otherwise trains may get confused at some point. The receiving end is not linked to the livestock station. Ah, I see what you mean. They might want to go over to here, wouldn't they? Well then, that's not a problem, is it? Because we can just say... When you come in, make sure you take the Brasilia Waypoint. So, before you go to Brasilia Farm, make sure you go via that waypoint. Simple as. That way, even if it is connected, they won't come down and around here, because they know they need to hit that waypoint. Good idea to split your input and output stations. Ah, for vehicles, maybe. And even so, it's still maybe. 
I like having them linked. I like the extra reach that they get, if nothing else. Right, that should be that set up back the way it was. Now, what was I doing around here? Something, something... Ferry services. Punto Arenas, and... Was it Rio Grande? Probably Rio Grande. Let's get them there. Service back again. Twelve passengers. And we like this 240 passenger ship that we have. We want it to go from hither to dither. And how many do I want? I don't know. Probably, probably six or so of them. Automated timetable. And the 400 mail one. Not that mail is much of a problem, but I will have you joining in anyway. Yeah, mail is actually still a problem, who would have thought? They'll all share the same orders, so no big deal. And the mail is so much faster and higher capacity, but that's okay. It'll hopefully take a bite out of some of the capacity issues here. Might not be enough of it, but anything to help out Terra de Fuego. They've got their industry set up, and now I just need the food back, and we'll be back to where we were last time. The food was going back to Bahi, as I recall. And as long as it gets plenty of food, it'll be gung-ho. And we don't use that gung-ho, but... I want it to be there for the future anyway. I certainly don't want to be in a situation where we actually don't have enough uh, resources to make all the industries that we want to be gung-ho, be gung-ho. Great wheat tunes in this. It's really good. Maybe I should have tried just, um... No, I don't have it set to lost. This is something I should do in my own time. But checking to see if we can do what somebody said, where we just use these instead of boys and have them set to go to. But one downside to that is I don't like how it looks. I don't like just having these everywhere. On the flip side, I kind of need them with the boys anyway, so... Difficult choices. So, when it came to the food, what was I using? I think it was the tiger sharks? Part of me thinks that that won't be sufficient, though, given the amount of goods I'm going to need to move around. There's probably going to be a lot of food coming in here, hundreds and hundreds of it. So I might actually use something that's a bit slower, but with a bit better capacity. The marsh steam continues to be pretty good, along with the meteor. And yeah, thinking about it, we'll have offloads of a hundreds of a time, so... Yeah, I think a bunch of marsh teams is the better idea here. Full load over here, and make your way around. Take the Argentinian boy. Take the Rio Grande do Sul boy. Rio de Janeiro. And then drop yourself off, and take these on the way back. And this whole line showing you which way they're going is amazing. And how many are we going to need? I don't know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them? Boats are slow, and they're essentially going the same distance as these, um, these trains are going. Depots everywhere look terrible, true, but they do need maintenance along the way, so it's hard to, hard to deny its usefulness. Okay, we've slaughtered through the passengers, which is good. Doesn't feel like a lot of mail wants to go back this way, but it wouldn't, because it, it wasn't aware that the route was available for a while. Now it is. There's a little bit of temptation to also... Let's see, you are part of Toro Plaza. Ah, uh, Toro Plaza doesn't have many passengers that needs to move around, though. How are we looking on... How are we looking on cargo flow here, anyway? I'm keeping a lazy eye on my system specs. I loaded up Task Manager just to make sure it's running okay. Ah, you know, just that little help seems to have assisted in staying on top of this. Anywhere really suffering right now? Colombia to Ecuador is. Not really sure I can do too much about that, unless I really wanted to... set up just another wee line to offload this a bit. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. That, however, does. Right, Colombia, what is your problem? Let's go and deal with some PAX issues for a bit while we wait for a bit more money to come in. And once we have, well, a bit more money and a bit more linking up of industry down to Tierra de Fuego, and then it's onwards to Africa, which is meant to be what this whole thing is about today. Still, though, what is your problem? Yeah, the boys pollute the map with labels. It's You're just damned if you do either way. 
Will there be more open TTD campaigns after this one? Asked Arnold. Probably not. I think once we have the whole world done, that'll be it for open TTD. And then I'm going to do Transport Fever for a bit. And then God knows what else. We need to have a proper long play vote, but since I'm in the middle of migration, we're going to have to wait and see how that goes. Might be that I end up in Austria and get chased around by Austrians putting an end to my streaming for a wee while. Let's hope that's not the case, though. I love streaming more than I love Austrians. The issue is that Colombia to USCA is absolutely packed. But the problem is, even if they got to USCA, USCA has their own problems of getting people further up north, don't they? No, actually, most people are stuck there trying to get to Cuba docks, which is hilarious. So, 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 we could supplement this line, because it's already pretty saturated with trains, could supplement this line by sending out the boats over to USCA, and then we definitely need to improve the, um, the ferry services to the Caribbean. Thinking about it, the Caribbean should probably be linked to Colombia. It's much more of a central place. Like, they can do Colombia for South America, and they could do... Maryland for North America. That would make a lot more sense, wouldn't it? And there's no, no reason to kill their existing ferry service here. We can just see if it offloads some of their needs. Okay, and we can use much better capacity and faster vehicles for it, because we know they have actual populations now. Look at that, high rises in Haiti. Mm, that seems like a very dark joke. So, let's get it set up, shall we? More of these. And it just needs to be for packs, passengers first, of course. So, what are you going to do? It's going to be Dominican Republic to um, Colombia. And it should not be difficult. Actually, that's probably overkill, isn't it? Yeah, what the hell. Mail as well, please. And you're going to follow that. Um, maybe two for mail. Let's just go overkill here. We want these guys running just fine. And we need to do much and such the same for all of them, really. Fortunately, there's not many of them. Haiti over to Colombia. Automate it. Have two on the mail and four on the passengers. This is definitely overkill, but uh, we'll do it anyway. Especially since they're going to get similar services going north. We just like the... Uh, we like the packs, so I've got no problem with that. Jamaica might have a little bit of trouble with the layout here. But I can bring them over to Haiti, boy. So, passengers to Jamaica, Haiti, boy, Colombia, Haiti, boy on the way back. Spread out and auto timetable that for four of you, and then you copy the order and get cloned yourself. And hey, would you look at that? We're almost done with them. We just need to do Cuba as well. Of course, we also want to bring them all up to Maryland, so <laughs> there's still more to be done. Fortunately, though, it looks like Maryland... Actually, Maryland is saturated on, on, on this way, and we're adding yet more trains to it. Mainland USA's rail lines might end up hurting for this, but that's okay. Uh, what was I just about to do? I think it was Cuba. This is mail, so Cuban mail to the Haiti boy to Colombia and back to Haiti boy. Clone it, automate it, and add you doing the same order, clone for four, and off you go. And as they go, that should alleviate some of these lines quite a lot. I also said I wanted to supplement Colombia to USCA because as we can see, lots of people want to go there. But the question is why? Why do they want to go to USCA so much? Is there anything really standing out as a huge amount of people? They want to go to Mexico, Washington, Yukon, Alberta, a lot of this could be taken care of if we just also make their line up to Maryland more populous. Uh, there's a lot of them coming in. I need to focus on ones that do Maryland. You're one of them, right? Columbia to Maryland. For passengers. And it is mostly passengers, isn't it? So if I just clone that one sufficiently... 
Hopefully these guys already have the order for auto-separating on there. Yes, they do. Is it also male that wants to go up there? Uh, not really. The male is largely taken care of over to Maryland. The passengers, on the other hand, they got places to go. <laughs> All these people getting moved around. It's not helping with that uh, that number very well, though. Of course, they also get dropped off there and need to ride the trains. The trains, which... Uh, Look like we could have quite a few more on the track by now. Yeah, loads of thousands of them wanting to go to Venezuela. Where's your first stop, by the way? Your first stop is actually Terra de Fuego to Argentina. And how many trains are there on this service? 70 trains already run it, and it's insufficient. Crazy. Oh well. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 80. Let's bring it up to 100 then. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Get going. Clog up those lines. Kind of crazy, this. Um, the western line already seems pretty saturated with trains. How do you win this game? There's no winning in this game. You play and play, it's like a sandbox or an anthill or something like that. Yeah, Colombia was always going to be a busy place, but it looks like we've really eased up the pressure on the Caribbean islands, which is great. Still, Colombia to Maryland feels pressured. I think you keep contacting me. I need you to, need you to be considerably quieter, phone. There is an important phone call that I'm waiting on, but it's a phone call I'm waiting on. I don't need any of these kinds of messagey things. Yeah, wow. Surprisingly, Columbia to Maryland is still incredibly in need of assistance. Even though I just added tons of boats to it. Poor Florida, still separated from everyone. Wasn't the idea to connect all things before expanding further? Uh, anywhere that we colonize, we have to um, have to bring in. There we go, I think the boats are really making a dent now. Funnily enough, still a lot of people of Haiti want to go to USCA, but that's probably just uh, probably just taking a bit to recalculate where and what they can do. Also, I don't really need to have uh, the Caribbean up to America because what they can do is they can take the they can take the journey down to Colombia and then from Colombia head up north kind of collecting them all in one place, better than having them all get their own dedicated fast boats here, because I reckon some of them are going to be running empty and non-profitable thanks to the sheer number of them. I feel like we could do with another maintenance shack right here, given there's so many of them coming through here. <laughs> they're happy to go through, don't know if I'm going to pay for that, now they're just going through for the hell of it. Just having good fun, these guys. And we have all of these wee packs guys on those boats. They are still slow and incredibly insufficient for this. Just wondering if I actually want to change them out for faster boats. Lots of people want to go to USCA. But when I go to my boats and my packs... If we group them together... God, that's a lot of them on the Haiti docks. You know, what the hell? We have the money to do this. Let's actually grab all of these little Josephines that are used for packs and replace them with a much more reasonable packs vehicle. I'll use the Matsuma rather than the Ducket, because I think the Ducket is vastly overkill. So, there we go. Josephines, as they go in for maintenance, are now going to change out for a faster and much higher capacity vehicle. I mean, look at it, it's running laps around Josephine already. One downside is that you have terrible capacity for mail, don't you? If I wanted to use you for mail, you only carry 60 bags, but I still think that's better than Josephine. Well, it's not better than Quan Tung, but Josephine. 66 versus... Six. Actually, it's not better. And it's considerably more expensive. 
It is, however, faster, so I'll live with that. And it's not like mail was the issue. Well, it's an issue, isn't it? Hmm, I'm sure it'll be fine. Hundreds of bags of mail wanting to go to USC. Nah, it'll be fine. It will be fine. As long as we don't see yellow or red, we're generally okay. Cuba will sort itself out in time. I don't care about inner city America. There were other problems though, weren't there? Maybe not. PAX Network doing rather well, I've got to say. Impressed to see how well Hawaii is doing though. Mm -mm, yeah, not, not loads of people there. They want some fruit. They, they can never get uh, industrial goods. There's nowhere to put industry for Hawaii. In the base game, you win by having the highest company score in 2050. I doubt that would be difficult against the AIs, and the AI builds awfully anyway. Okay, well, I dare to say our PAX is looking great in that case. We can get back to bringing more industrial might to Tierra de Fuego. Let's clear all this. Let's make sure that we're not backed up in goods around here. That's okay. I mean, that's quite a bit of steel, sure, but it's okay. And these are all getting what they need, right? No iron ore, but that's okay. Sand and chemicals. Fruit. No milk. That, that requires investigation. No livestock either. What's your problem? I did set up these vehicles, right? Ah. Ah. There'll be things that we fixed and they got unfixed when the game crashed. Or when my PC crashed, rather. There we go. They were all struggling to come out here. I wonder if I had some lost vehicles as well. Oh god. This is scary. I may have added too many trains. Or there might be some other issue along the line here that I'm not aware of. They go, they go, they go. Not a problem, not a problem. Seem to travel along here just fine. Long cargo main line is missing depots again. Ah, the depots aren't in. We put them in here though, didn't we? Hopefully not too much of an issue for them. You come out here and along here, please. Try and make it symmetric. Nope, can't, because the signal's there. At least this time I can put the signals in the correct way. And that means I want to add that cargo order. Uh, not cargo order, but order for maintenance for the cargo guys. Colliery, go for service if needed, and then before you get to Tierra de Fuego, take service if needed, and after you do that, take service if needed. Something ain't right here. Yes, then yes, then... Whoops, you go there. See, those lines helped with identifying that. I wouldn't have even given it a second thought if that were not there. I never actually activated my baby train, did I? No, oh, there you are. And you seem to be running just fine, so I'm not going to question anything there. And then there's your order. Resilia is all well and good, get that service if needed, but after that service if needed, go and get service, and go and get service again, only if needed. Now I don't know when if when needed is. Maybe it's only after a breakdown. But thank you, Ave. Again, wouldn't have noticed that myself, I'm sure. Brasilia Farm is gung-ho. Excellent. It'd be nice if I could see exactly how much gets delivered here. History doesn't show it. You're only normal, Bahia. Did I set up the food, guys? Yeah, I did. Here you are. 
Uh, is there too much food here that you can't handle? No, you're sitting around grabbing that food as needed. Excellent, that must mean that a train just came in with the goods. There you are. And each of them come in with about 500 loads of goods, and we get most of it. I love to see it, but where's my milk truck? Maybe it crashed just before I made the milk one, because I don't see any milk trains here. It's okay though, it's easily sorted probably. And I think I made them here, didn't I? Yeah, because then they can just go out easy peasy. Oh goodness, even this is old and nasty. But it's also not really a problem, is it? Uh, or is it? You know, I wonder if this would just be all solved if I put you there instead of there. No, in fact, it would make the problem worse. The sad truth is that this needs to be one tile longer for this not to be an issue. Or to fork out a little earlier. skipping just so I can get this done, please. And then get rid of you and you and you. Ah, you can't actually go there, can you? Well, that's no big deal. It's still a fork there. I don't know why I was so insistent on the other shape of it. There we go. Now we can have one, two, three trains backing up and four in there. Not that it matters, since this length of track might as well just be a run-up for all of this. Did coal lose gung-ho when you reduced engineering supplies? Ooh. It did, it did, it did. Right. One of you are insufficient. Two of you will probably be plenty, though. That's 50... 50 supplies every seven days. And it is a seven-day journey, right? This timetable takes six days to complete. But I don't think it includes a return journey, does it? No, so maybe it's more like nine or ten days. Probably. Well, what does it matter? Doubling it up will be fine. I just don't want to overdo it because those engineering supplies are needed by others. You're gung-ho now, though, so we have plenty. It's the farming supplies I worry about. Those always tend to be produced far fewer. Uh, right, yes, the milk. The milk, the milk, the milk. What do I even use for you? I'll tell you what, I can just clone you. And then we simply get rid of all of those and replace it with the milkers. Where are you? Here we go. Max speed. Your max speed is... 140. So it was, I think I was just using the edible tankers. to seven, you will uh, get rid of those orders and instead just share their orders. And we'll again have three of you, six for total, and through you go. Mmm, man. Something so nice about seeing cargo, uh, cargo lines instead of just packs. Makes me want to, makes me want to expand. How and where do we expand? It's raw resources that we're on the hunt for. Not uh, not industries like this dairy. Tierra de Fuego's industrial district will have all of this. This is a problem. This is really beginning to be a problem. But why? What What is causing the clog up? I mean, they get to Santiago, they still clog up. They get through Tarapasa, they still kind of clog up. To, um, they do have service if required, so that shouldn't be causing any too many issues. Maybe the trains are slowing down on the hill. No, I think they're slowing down because they can't be processed fast enough in here. Could it be that we actually needed eight size, um... Mm. 
I think it's just a case that the line has more trains than we can handle. I wonder if there's an easy way to cut down on the amount of trains you have in a line then. For whatever reason, they're not suffering over in Colombia, but maybe when that clog of trains makes it, its way up here, it'll start the clogging. On the plus side, this doesn't seem to be a particularly busy time here. I mean, sure, hundreds of people want to go to Ecuador, but they are getting seen to, right? Oh, maybe not. Look at all those people. Right. Well, this presents an interesting challenge, doesn't it? Does that mean that the alternative is to make a direct line that cuts through a lot of this? Say, all the way down to Terra de Fuego, so that they don't have to pass through all of this? Terra de Fuego is already pretty full. I don't know. I don't know how to handle massive amount of packs. Oh well, when in doubt, ignore it. We're, wor we're working on uh, cargo right now. Although I do want to make sure that all this that we put in is working fine. Passengers, mail around here. Oh yeah, look at how much we've cleaned up the Caribbean. And it's looking pretty good and not overburdened heading to and from Maryland. And to make matters even better, these appear to be profitable. Uh, that's six years old. What's one that I've just made? Well, let's also not worry about that. I worry, that's what I like to think. Mmm, Greenland looks so good. So huge. We're almost at the point where there are more people in this game version of Greenland than real Greenland. I think its actual population is somewhere around 50,000 today. Loving it. And it won't be somewhere that I need to pay much more attention to until... Holy smokes, you tell me that the metro is actually getting used? not over capacity, but it certainly is getting used. That, might, that could become a problem later on. For now though, I think I could double the amount of trains on this line. Because look at that, the, the metros are empty half the time. Maybe 50% more trains, because they do spend a bit of time in there. Okay, industry for Tierra de Fuego. Is there really much industry to be had around here? Raw resources, I mean, of course, not um, not things like steel yards. Hello, we got ourselves a little piggery around here. Fruit and livestock. Now we have the capacity for processing just about everything down here. But could we have ourselves some little piggies too? They could just plug in up to here and we'd be good to go. The map can be good for this. Especially if we look for industries and not have names on them. And if I disable all and just so show raw materials, clay pits, coal mines, farms, dredging sites, fishing grounds, iron ore, which we still don't have any of in South America, orchards and piggeries, forts are nice, scrapyards are nice, yeah, we can use this to see where the industry that we can exploit are. For example, Amazonas has another orchard and piggery, one that's considerably better than the other. And... Oh, that's just us looking at the, um, the dairy farm over there. What do we have here? Scrap metal. As piranha grows, so too will that scrap. Kind of a shame, but I can't plug it in. Well, I could. I could have it go up and over and plug in there, but it would make a lot more sense just to plug it directly into here. All right. I like the sound of all of it, so we shall have all of it. Let's start with you then, shall we? Shouldn't need more than two tracks. Seven length, of course. And there's no need to impose on Piranha, so we'll just go here. Piranha. Sounds a lot like uh, Prana, one of my... Nemesis songs in DDR. Uh, DDR. I really want to play DDR. Why must uh, certain Scotsmen 
deny me the game. It's going to be a bit of a moot point. I've already put my dance mat into storage. It'll be out someday, but for now it has to sit and wait. That gaudy red, tr uh, red bridge does my head in just looking at it. Oh god, another another gaudy red one. Now, very simply, I need you out of my way. And we just need to be able to make a turn over here. So, a bit of a non-gaudy bridge. And over you go. And then you just need to be able to join in right here. Simply done, simply signalled, and then these guys can continue their merry way. I'm not sure if I care about the throughput here enough to even bother with them doing offshoots for this. I mean, be reasonable. If I just had you right here. I don't think it'll be a big deal, because I want to have these guys waiting around anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm going to believe. No need to... It's one of my least favourite things to do for train lines, is do offshoots for these, because it's... It just feels like make work. Maybe it's because I know of the existence of the no breakdowns thing, but even so, it just wouldn't feel right, would it? Still, though, scrap metal. Go figure there are no scrap metal things, so let's just get ourselves engines here properly. And sort them by... Hmm... I still want maximum speed, but... What's the one that we're using? Is it the Onslaught? Ah, Jinx, well, this is what I get for not paying attention, isn't it? Let's just steal one of these existing trains. Ditch all of those. What are you? You're the grid. Okay, the grid is fine, then. Let's get ourselves those scrap cars. As long as it can reach the grid's staggering... Uh, what's your speed again, grid? 120. I think uh, we put the cart before the horse then, but that's okay. Scrap your wagons can only go 120. Buy that up to the size of 7, or 6.9 in this case, and give you your orders, which are not those orders. We want you to fill up the full at scrapyard that we just made. Piranha Woods, apparently. Uh, out you come, grab maintenance if needed. Grab more maintenance if needed. Drop it off at uh, the steel docks. Maintenance if needed. I did tell them all to go to steel docks. Why do I feel like I've accidentally told some of my trains to go to the center? Uh, the central. Just in case I've been making some kind of things like that, let's allow for warnings about lost vehicles. Is there a command for mods you're using? No, there is not, but if you just ask, I usually tell. There you go. I use the Renewed Village Growth script, which is a little different from the mods. New GRS, I use Shark, Furs, Roadhog, AV98, and Iron Horse. And on top of that, I'm using the JGR patch for the game. Quite heavily modded in that regard. But all this information is on the first um, first YouTube video for this series. Couldn't go lost with that. Right, this is not the Piranha Woods, this is a Piranha Scrapyard. And the Piranha Scrapyard doesn't need any supplies or anything, it will just grow as Piranha grows. Piranha grows quite slowly, but it's unlikely to ever get any of those uh, goods that it needs to grow better. What else are we looking for then? What else did I have my eye on? I had my eye on somebody's piggery. The Amazonas piggery, no less. Looks like you could be plugged in here, no harm, no fuss. If we just had you come down, bridge over... Maybe even tunnel under this garbo, and then come in here. I really like this um, this bridgeway that it only comes down on one end, and the other end it stays level. I think it looks cool. 
but I think a lot of things regarding trains look cool. Right, piggery. It turns out that I can actually grab you from over here. Because that's a big piggery. So, Amazon ass, just get flattened out a bit for me. Bring you back a bit so we can crisscross here. Haven't been making those crisscross errors since there's no ugly, ugly um, maglev, which I find very hard to see when you're doing your crisscrosses correct or not. Oh, God, that's also ugly though. I really don't like this. I, I've got to look into that um, bridge mod that somebody mentioned earlier. Sorry to just call you somebody, I'm terrible with names. I'm sure you're a very real person. It's almost good enough, but as is ever the case, it doesn't quite plug in the way we want it to. Right, you can't find a path to continue, but that's not the same as being lost. I don't know why it warns you on this. These guys are filling up. And the problem is just that uh, we've got more than is necessary, but I don't want to know about that. They will get that scrap. It's just that it takes a month. Actually, truth be told, you could just return your overkill. So I'll just sell you. Piggery, piggery. I don't know if this train line's ever going to extend further north. Probably better to be ready for that than not, right? Uh, that's definitely the wrong way to be doing it. Hang on, let's bring you out first. Pax is lost, but we know why the Pax is lost. It's because it wanted to go for maintenance, because... Yeah. I should really go through all of my Pax networks and tell them to get maintenance only when I tell them to. But the fact that things aren't getting lost other than that tells me that we've made good networks, so I'm going to turn off the warning for it. <laughs> just, just get rid of the warning sign. That solves all the issues. Right. Um... Yeah, you do link up there, and then just give these guys a little space to join up here. So you turn off, and then come back in like so, and all is well. Why did I delete that bridge? I swear I had it working before, and then just decided, nah, and got rid of it. Not a lot of space for maintenance around here, so it may actually want an offshoot for it. Down you go, and up you go. And along. And along some more. <clears throat> Actually, it wouldn't be too big of a deal if I just slam you over here. Don't worry, nobody's really going to care. Just get maintenance as you need it. Downside is that these places want fruit and... Uh, they deliver fruit and livestock, so actually only having two of you might be a problem. I might end up with two of them waiting on fruit and the livestock guys are backing up out the door. It's also quite a long way to go, and when this goes gung-ho, we might need quite a bit more than I'm giving. But, that's okay. We'll just make do with it. <laughs> that's right, that's, that's the optimum way to look at it. It's okay, we'll just deal with it. So I'm going to steal this design. I'm going to get rid of that order there, and instead you're going to fill up here on that livestock, get maintenance if needed, head all the way down here, Get more maintenance if needed, drop off the goods, maintenance on the way back, and once again, maintenance if needed on the way back. And we'll have two of you on that, and we're also going to want a... another train, but this new one's going to be carrying the fruit, right? Or is this a piggery? Yes, Orchard and Piggery, so yes. Can you take fruit in any of these? You could actually. We could use a plastic post box. And fill up 
fill it up with plastic post boxy vehicles. Yeah, we'll just give you the re whoa, 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 what's your problem? It doesn't seem to want to join up here. Is there some kind of issue? Don't know why, but it doesn't want to go and join the train that I want it to go into. Hopefully there's not something wrong like it cannot pull these. Maybe for whatever reason the plastic post box can't actually move properly? I just noticed that, uh, now that it's actually got a terrible, terrible... Um... Other trains at depot can't decide which one to join. Ah, is that so? Whoa, 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 whoa. you don't go. You go, though. There we go. Right, now that we've got you... so I know which one I'm clicking on here. I want you to share the orders with those guys, because you are doing the same thing, and I of course want two of you. Now this is where I run into that problem, this guy wants to come in and fill up, but these guys are stealing all the show. Uh, that can be sorted if I simply tell you to skip an order. Now, you're not gung-ho, and you won't be until we get you some farming supplies. How do we go about bringing you some farming supplies? There is a slight temptation to build another one in here, because if I want the farming supplies to get up there... Well, sure, I do have a little baby setup. Where's my baby setup? track of you. Come on. We had a port somewhere, right? Here you are. Too small, I couldn't even see it. And these guys are gung-ho, that's excellent. Little baby setup isn't actually plugged in, of course. We lost the, the plug-in, didn't we? Not impossible to plug it in, though. In fact, one could say it's very easy to plug it in. These guys are so small that I don't even care about losing the throughput for not having um, bridges and such to take care of this. They are the right way around, right? Good. This is a different story, however. Um, Beloved coal trains. Why does it do that every so often? I think it's control click without dragging causes the other kind of signal. Right, that should be fine if we can get the baby train to head out, join on the main line, and then make its way over to Amazonas Woods. It does mean it's going to be delayed if there's nowhere to drop it off, but. Surely not that big of a deal, right? Little baby trains can drop off easily plenty for you. And if they back up, they don't back up much, nor for long. The trouble is, if this is backed up with four trains and it can't get in for a while, eh, that could be a consideration. And a very, very good argument for having a different uh, station for it to plug into. A very good argument indeed. I like the way it kind of crisscrosses around here. Mm. He doesn't know. He doesn't need this very often. What's the capacity of these trains anyway? You can carry all the goods it needs, as long as you deliver it every three months. I don't think it's a big problem if it has to wait a little while. I wonder if there's a way to give specific supply orders so that they do only give as much as is needed. I feel like I saw that in the settings somewhere. Hmm, order perhaps? 
and or conditional orders. So there are conditional orders to give. I don't know how to give conditional orders, but I think that's a bridge too far for me today. Even though, I will grab you, we'll get rid of your existing orders and give you new ones. Fill up here, get maintenance if needed, and then head on all the way up and over. Maintenance if needed. Oh, crumbs, I actually, sh I actually shared your orders instead. That will be difficult not to do, actually, because we have a train getting in my way. Is there a way I can just go... Yeah, okay, I just need to not click on the train itself. I'll keep that in mind. Try again then, shall we? I want you to fill up here, get maintenance if needed, get more maintenance if needed, and then drop off in that. Yet more maintenance if needed, and even more, but only if needed. Now get going. There's other trains in the depot, can't decide which one to join. Hmm? Oh right, that was for adding the wagons. Forgot what that was all about. Alright, swell. That brings more fruit and more livestock down here, which means even more food. Which uh, I might be struggling to transport appropriately. Struggling more than I thought on this. We'll just get more of you brought in. Lots of steel, though. Which uh, may be a problem, may not. We have somebody piling up on it right now, but I always feel like we need more and more of these guys. Well, that is a given. How are they doing on the Florida Boneyard? Lo still loads of scrap metal, though. They do refit the scrap metal when they go there, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal to just clone another six of you or so. Because even though you come out with goods, you do refit the scrap metal, and then you gobble up that scrap metal. That should keep the boneyard a bit happier. And then you're actually waiting around because you are early or late or something. Good, you're going to wait. Well, I thought you were going to wait there for five days. They don't seem to like doing waiting that much on cargo runs. Madness. Still, that, uh, that Florida scrap does keep the engine turning. And as long as they come along to drink up that steel, it's okay. The rating is going down, but I shouldn't worry about these things too much. How are we doing in terms of moving people around here? We're doing pretty well. That's kind of weird. Ah, uh, Porto Toro Plaza I'm also wanting to go to. So it's okay for them getting around here. It's just that lots of bags of mail want to go around. The bags of mail want to go around like so, don't they? Did you just completely ignore that station? Interesting. We have some uh, mail vehicles here, but the capacity is too low. Also, of course, you passed by that. That wasn't uh, that wasn't a stop for you. That was, however. Yeah, my capacity for moving around mail here is suffering. Does that mean I want to go to my road packs vehicles and replace the? Let's get rid of these old ones that we're never going to be caring about again. We had those set, but once it does the full replace, it doesn't clear them from the list. 72, 72, no, we have much better mail things here. Cargo capacity. It's showing fruit and milk and stuff for some reason. There's one that does very good amounts of mail. the one we're using for mail. Pretty sure it's one of these. All the passengers call and yada yada yada. I think it's the coal, uh, coal big and box tram. Could have sworn I had bigger tram capacities for mail than this though. Kind of makes me not want to bother with it right now. Yeah, I'm really not sure I do. Getting too sidetracked by this. Tierra, Tierra de Fuego is doing fine. So what if people are backing up for it? 
Feels like a very poor bit of reasoning there, but it's what I'll stick to. Now you're waiting to come in here, and that's okay, because these guys are about to leave. Out they go. In you come, and now, ka-ching, you're going to be running gung-ho. And that's going to mean a whole lot more goods, especially at the turn of the month, to the point where this should be running A-OK. -okay. I might even find that two trains per good is insufficient, but trains run at a good speed, and it's not that far to go, is it? Oh, good speed, he says. This one's struggling to actually hit its maximum speed. What are you again? Okay, the plastic post box is not that great for freight, apparently. It's actually going to slow things down. Look at that. Plastic post box insufficient, huh? I wonder if that means that I should just take all my instances of plastic post box. Which is only ones that we have down here, I reckon. And replace them with a much better vehicle. What's the other one that we were using down here again? Had a cool name. It was the grid. Look at that, let's get some actual power. No point using non-power for uh, for cargo. So when they go in, we'll get them replaced so they don't hold up the... Look at him, he's running, he's running so slow that he's holding up the coal train. The coal train? Isn't that a sports guy? I feel like I've heard the name the coal train before. Maybe it was Gears of War. Something pretty macho regardless. <laughs> this is so sad. And I don't really have a good solution to it. They're all going out as fast as they can. There's just so many of them. I think it's just a case of too many. Simply too many. Perhaps I should catch some and, and get rid of them. How many do you think we need to purge off of this line? The line currently has... 78 trains. I reckon if we bring that down to 60, we should be okay. Which means 18 of these guys have to go. One, two... Three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen will do. Get them all over here and get them purged, and hopefully they'll clean up lines a bit better. More trains is good, right? I think so. Don't know how you're meant to handle it with just so many people coming in here. I suppose the answer is more train stations. Although, would you look at that? <laughs> it's, it's empty now! How can this be? Well, it's because I grabbed all the trains on their approach, so it's not uh, not unsurprising. Or it shouldn't be surprising. Mm. It's not huge money, but I still like seeing this come in. And remember, it's making the money by turning these into steel and goods and whatnot. Also, alcohol. Does anybody actually carry this alcohol away for me? There are a bunch of them that take alcohol all the way up to Haiti. That, I think, is going to be insufficient. Could I not bring any excess alcohol? Like, what I would love is conditional order. If there is more than 200 alcohol in the docks, then fill up. And then any... when we have too much alcohol here, we can just bring it over to uh, to somewhere that's less profitable, but at least clears it. Not such a thing is even possible. I mean, we have a hotel right here that would surely be happy to take that alcohol. I recall there are conditional orders, points out Naffle. Fascinating. How would a man do such a thing? Let's do a little little experimentation then, shall we? I reckon I would just bring them over with relative ease using something like you. Uh, you'd need to be part of the steel docks even so, so... Ooh, steel docks is already pushed to its maximum. So I'm struggling to think where to even bring you. Um, 
well. I don't like them, but I could bring it around like so. Daisy. Ooh, it's getting worse before it gets better. This is just ever so slightly in the way, and I don't want to put you over here. Could this be the unsolvable puzzle? Possibly. Either that or just comes in and turns around. I was hoping I could do it one way because it allows for much better, uh, much better filling up. Or I could just bite the bullet. This will never be more than four stations. It's okay, it only unloads and unloading is fast. It'll almost never load from here. Unless there's some amazing situation where... Let's say there was a hotel within the range of the Amazon woods. They could actually bring the alcohol back and then sell it to there. But alas, there is no... There is no hotel within range. It's a little tempting though. I mean, you do bring the fruit down. Can you store alcohol in this thing? That's a refrigerated, um, whatchamacallit, isn't it? Refrigerated vans cannot take alcohol. What can take alcohol and fruit? Hmm, could take fruit and alcohol inside one of these mail vans. Yeah, yeah I think we might be onto something here. To make all this fit, I could shunt this whole thing back a bit. Actually, I think I will. It just... I, I was thinking about just extending it out with a bus thingamajigger or whatever, but let's not be so... Let's not be so... Is this still going to work if I bring it out like so? hope so. Needs to be here, Amazon Woods. And now it does cover that. signaling suffers a little bit, but this is all still a block, and they can figure out where they want to go. I doubt it's going to be such a big deal. Now... How to best convert you guys? How many of those do I even use? So if I wanted to grab all of my existing... No, not engines, but wagons. Refrigerated... Oh god, I don't have a good idea of how many of these I'm using. Wagon removal ungrouped trains. Auto replace keep the length of a train by removing... Oh, I certainly want um, wagon remove and removal wherever possible. And I want to replace these with... Oh, this is, this is too dangerous. I shouldn't be doing it like that. What I should do is get them grouped accordingly. So if I go here, we just made some ungrouped trains. And... Are these the four that I'm looking at? This is one group, unfortunately. Oh no, I can st I can still slam them together differently. I know that you are the fruit guys. Oh, I need to differentiate the group, wouldn't I? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe fruit should be farming, or maybe I should differentiate their orders. difficult choice, but I think we'll have you stop sharing, and then you're the other one, right? You also stop sharing, and then you guys actually share orders there, and now you have shared orders again. 
and I can move you into fruit. And now we have our fruit set up, and if I specifically take the fruit set up, and I replace their vehicles, refrigerated ones, with the... Oh, it was the one I was looking at. I think it was a mail van. I think it was a mail van. Keep the same uh, same size. These are the same, right? Practically the same, but good capacity is better capacity. All right, let's have that replaced. And on top of that, let's make sure all the fruity guys just quickly go for a servicing. Then they will be forced to go service ASAP along their route. There we go, get you changed, huzzah. And now, when you go to the woods, and the woods is a terrible name, um, we'll just call it the Amazonas Farm. Don't worry, we'll get to, um, we'll get to Africa eventually. It's backing up with goods, which I suppose is good. When you're there, we want you to refit for fruit, of course. But when you hit the steel docks, we want you to refit for alcohol. Sweet. And then we'll have loads of alcohol brought back. Crazy to see the amount of fruit piling up, though. A good kind of crazy, I think. To the point where we're going to want to clone this train... I don't know, twice? Can I clone these trains? From there? Very cool. Go and get those goods. There's more piling up here than I'd imagined. More the fruit than anything. That's crazy numbers of fruit. And if anything's backing up, I don't think it'll be a big deal. The production is fast enough that there should always be space for someone coming in. The downside is with this, we might actually end up with a queuing issue. Look, there's only space for two of you to queue here. So it's not unthinkable that we end up with a queue line issue. How would one solve such a thing? Well, probably, I would imagine, by having something like so. What I do in Factorio, at least. That way they can queue there, and there's the wait here. You may find yourself in a situation where farm supplies are blocked by loading trains and production drops. Possibly. Possibly. Maybe even more than possibly, probably. The thing is, it takes three months. It would have to take three months for this farming supply guy not to make his drop. That seems unreasonably long. Let's watch this, even. How long does it take you to do your journey, anyway? It doesn't tell me, but... Uh... Ooh, that travel for 19 days is... longer than I thought. Yeah, looking at it, it's not unreasonable, is it? This is good, though. They, uh... They can queue up here. Oh, no, they cannot. I need another signal right here. Then they can... Oh, goodness, it's still just a little too tight, I think, for you. I think you still block that. Ah. Let's see what we can do about that. No, actually, I think that still counts as the same area in terms of the signaling. Tell you what, let's get let's get like this. Now you move a bit forward, you move a bit forward, and there's space there, although it doesn't change the fact that there's not enough room for all of you here. Maybe I overdid it on the uh, 
on the number of vehicles here. In that case, you go for maintenance stop and I'll just delete you. And then you come in here awaiting. Still so much fruit though. The heck is with the enormous amount of fruit? Are you even picking up that fruit? We'll now get some void orders because I got rid of the uh, the stop, but that's okay. I just need to go and uh, delete them out of these guys. Yeah, I'm starting to buy the whole split up the input and things idea. Right, in you go, go and grab that fruit. You drop that off. I don't know what it is with the whole livestock issue. Maybe the capacity is different. Oh yeah, you can carry 500 odd loads of that. That's a ton, right. Then I will have you just go away. I should have considered the different cargo capacities. That's the problem right there. You guys with the whole fruit thing can only carry uh, 20, uh, not 22, total capacity. Half the capacity, yikes. So to that effect, yeah, we do need twice as many fruity ones. But hopefully that should sort things out. Fewer fewer trains, fewer concern for backing up, and less concern for the engineering supplies. But from now on, let's try and have a differentiated one for dropping off the supplies, because evidently it's an issue. Also, as cute as it is to see these, it does kind of clutter up the UI. Then again, it's quite nice seeing the packs. If there's anything big and red, I will want to see it, so I don't actually mind keeping the packs on so much. It's also a nice visualization of the routes that we do have. Okay, sweet, and I imagine that's solving any alcoholic issues. You're not alcohol, you're food. Then again, we could even bring food back if it's piling up here. But I wouldn't want to give you a, uh, a vehicle that doesn't maximize uh, livestock, because livestock can be a big old pain in the bum. Still, doesn't change the fact that there's a lot of food piling up. You guys are meant to be bringing me that food. The reason I don't make massive ones for food is that if I had, say, a 1400 capacity food vehicle here, it would sit for a long time and the food would go off on the transport, leaving, leading to uh, lower profit margins. Don't know how much profit I make on bringing it over to... where does it go? It goes all the way up to here, right? I mostly do it for the gung-ho trans... Uh, the gung-ho production here, but I gotta say, that's not bad money. Yeah, look at that, that's about as much money as we get bringing the livestock down here, even though it's going much slower. The reason, of course, being the massive difference between the value of food and the value of livestock. And it's going essentially the same distance. Even so, no matter how slowly you bring food, it's almost always going to be worth more than livestock. Mm, it's good stuff, though. I just I love this. just love it so much. Glad we're finally doing some dedicated cargo hauling. Pax is all well and good, and growing places is nice, but there's just something about that raw fiscal power of cargo rather than Pax. Right, let's get back to the map. Do we have any other places to exploit in South America? As I imagine, there will be more that pop up. Sadly, they're still popping up across the rest of the world, but eyes open for raw resources to exploit in South America here. There are still no iron mines in South America. Clay pits? No clay pits. I don't know why we're having such a hard time getting clay pits. We exploited both the uh, both the iron mines. There is another dairy farm way up in the north. Here we go. Venezuela's own dairy farm could be my own dairy farm. It's in a very inconvenient location, but that's okay. This is why we have our dedicated thingamajigger here. What are we going to do with you, though? I could push out north and then bring you across. 
because heavens knows if there's going to be any more goodies for me in the north to be had. Let me just clear this area. What would you do? You'd split off over here. Well, actually, could be that you can come out this way, because I want this one to come out and head up north anyway. And that's much more on track. Not to mention, the pathetic Peru Orchard and Piggery could still be on the menu. Now, all this does have means to an end. It's going to cost us about $5 billion to colonize Africa. So I might just uh, I might just have to get started with it rather than get it concluded. Even so, though, I must continue to make the money. So, thinking about it, you should... Hmm. Diagonals are a pain, I'll admit, but... Down and up. go diagonal here since it's nice and flat. Not going to be bothering anyone, I'm sure. And then if you change your tune and go straight up north here. Bear in mind there's a sweet piggery, but it can be slotted in there, no bother. And again, you can be slotted in. Just about having a main line to do all the slotting. How dare you get in my way? Pay okay, through the nose of the tunnel. I would like to destroy you. Now, something I've noticed is that industries never shut down in furs. I trawled through the forums. There's a lot of old uh, OpenTTD forums complete with broken links. Thanks to whoever on the wiki decided to redo all your links and break all the old ones. In any case, there was a forum post I was reading complaining about the fact that furs industries would close almost instantly. And I thought, well, that's strange. It doesn't, doesn't line up with anything I've seen, does it? So maybe there was a bit of a harsh reaction, in which case industries no longer closed down. Or maybe there's something else funky going on here, I don't know. What to do with you? Since it's a farm with multiple different things, I really shouldn't be limiting myself on the, uh, the numbers of tracks we have. Four is a good number for farms. And it doesn't need to be particularly great with its old inputy outputy stuff. I reckon we could even just have you here. And actually, getting you across here is now going to be a pain with what I've done, but that's okay. Probably. Oh, I've certainly made a pain for myself. Steel girder and steel girder. Come on, we can do it. There we go. And I really don't think you need anything more fancy than this. That way you can come into all of these and all of these can go out like so. Because most of the time spent waiting around here, it's not uh, not about how fast they shoot in and out. And I really think I'm overdoing it with the um, maintenance. You could just as easily have that there and that there. Yeah, it's no bother. No bother. Nay no bother. Now what about... Physical Meadow Meadows is a nice name. What about our little supplementary? Do I just have him here as a wee little extra guy? I reckon so.
Venezuela supplies. You'll be coming in like so, and just tonk, in you go. And you can leave out much the same way. Someone somewhere is going to hate this design. Not me, though. I don't think it's anywhere near as important as Pax. What about when they're making their way down here? Well, that's a different story. They're actually going to have speed around here. Speed that I do not wish to infringe on. So, and since it's such a long journey being made here, possibly shared by other vehicles, let's make sure that they are well accounted for in terms of maintenance. It's gonna suck if this is somewhere that I want to split them off, but I doubt. Well, actually, there's an example right there of someone I want to split in and out. Eh, don't worry about it. I certainly don't. come along here. Might be a bit touch and go, but I think I could bring you in here, no bother. How's the length on this? Kind of seven, kind of not, but that actually might still block some things. I will get rid of you and put you one bit further on, just in case. Alright, swell. And then you have the things to see too along the way there. Oakley dokley. Now, once again, you do livestock. Oh, and milk. Right, so I should copy one of the... one of the milky ones over here. Where are they at? Where are they at? There's our milk one, and there's our livestock one. I remember that the livestock capacity is enormous, so we shouldn't need so many of them. Let's get rid of your crummy orders and set you up for it. So you fill up in the meadows and then grab maintenance if you need it, followed by more maintenance if you need it, followed by even more maintenance should you need it. Then why is it showing me all these lines already, I wonder? Down you go to the steel docks, which I should probably rename. Over to there. Probably because I have train 226 loaded here, don't I? Yes. Of course, now I've gotten rid of your orders here, haven't I? There we go. So you go in there if needed, and then... Back to there if needed, and there we go. Should be all well enough, and then I'm going to want to clone you to have two of you. Will I want three? Couldn't hurt to have three, surely. Your capacity is enormous. Um, what's, the, what's the supply going to be here? Uh, I think I will have three of you. You, on the other hand, your capacity total is significantly lower, so I'd want more than three of you. I'd want quite a lot more than three of you. However, if we get rid of you, you're the milky guy. Delete the order, actually. Share that order. But it's your own order, and then we're going to want one, two, three, one, two, three. Quite a lot of you, actually. And activate. I wonder if they're going to block this. Nope, the guy won't come out because there's not a clean route over here. Very good. You might think it's a total lack of signalling, but what I see is a lack of concern because it's so good. Now, that means I need another, another little baby train. So, let's get ourselves a baby train. You there. Cloned, but destroy the order and make your own one. You're going to fill up here, grab maintenance if needed, and then, yeah, you can jump onto the main line, speed your way down here, grab more maintenance if needed, and even more maintenance if needed, drop off at the Venezuela supplies, and then back you come. I really want to see how this nippy little train integrates with the others. You should grab supplies on the way back if needed. I say supplies, I mean maintenance. Alright, I'm actually going to watch this guy. Double click here, and away we go. 
Jones picks it up, no problem. Whee! Over it joins into the main line. Remains part of the main line. Incredibly nipply so at 140. He's so small he doesn't care about curves or bridges or anything. He's just going for it. Very nice snake rattle and rolly style music. Doesn't matter that it's all full here. He fits right into that tiny little supply area. And that drops off all of the goods these guys need to make them gung-ho. To make them ahem <clears throat> gung-ho. Come on now, I brought you in... Wait a second. Why do you still have farm supplies? Something strange. Oh no, that's capacity, not the amount that you have. Also, you only bring 60 crates. Why did I think you brought in more than 60? Probably because I switched out your front vehicle with uh, with something different. You used to use the post box, which would carry another 15, didn't you? I think you did. Right. In that case, I want to grab the farm supplies, guys. Shouldn't be difficult to find them. Just grab the farm supply ones, put them into farm supplies, and then replace that engine of theirs with the plastic post box. Yeah, that was why I used the plastic post box, isn't it? It certainly is. Right, right, so this is a good use for the old plastic post box. Which I did think about, but accidentally, well not accidentally, I just fool heartily replaced them all. Where is that plastic post box hiding? So, ah, uh, here we go, the plastic post box diesel. Refittable. Doesn't let me replace for some reason, probably because this is here. In that case, I'll take my all trains plastic post box. Stop that. And grab my farm supplies and do the replacement grid with plastic post box. Unless it still doesn't let me do that. What am I looking for here anyway? No, it still doesn't let me do so. Hmm. Why wouldn't it let me switch out these diesel grids for the plastic post box? No. You have to stop replacing all trains before it will let you replace them again. Maybe I'll just stop all current replacements. Uh, that's not my trains though. No, all, all trains are stopping their replacements. It just does not let me switch the grid with the plastic post box. Press to stop. Hmm. Oh, start replacing is on the left. Wow, how did I miss that? The mind boggles. Don't worry, we get there in the end. There we go. Grid with plastic post box. Start replacing. Now that means you should... Uh, oh well, that's not going to happen until you go for maintenance, is it? But that's okay, I can order all of these trains to go for servicing, and then they will get switched out. So in you go, you drop that off, la 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 la. Uh, you don't appear to be going for it. you should have gone for maintenance. Sometimes it just doesn't want to do that, even when I tell them to. Still, you're the only one that I still need to check, aren't you? Yeah. Anyway, in you go. And then out you come. And now your capacity is back up to the glorious uh, lots that we need it to be. 84, and that is enough to put anywhere to gung-ho. So hopefully, Venezuela Meadows is now gung-ho. It's pretty gung-ho to me, and we'll have a reasonable amount of livestock and milk coming out of there. 
Still seems pretty low on production rate, but hey ho. One of your depots in the latest line has signals going in the wrong direction. <laughs> Thanks for noticing, Ave. I certainly don't notice these, and that's it right there, isn't it? I put them both in the same direction. Getting sloppy on these, very bad. Uh, that's also very bad. There we go, now whether or not that's long enough, I do not know. But it shouldn't be used so frequently that because of finally some clay! Right, the Bolivian clay pit. Unfortunately, it's pretty hard for me to use that because the only place it takes clay are ports. And this port is not in a great position to be gobbling up any clay. Because I'd have to bring it in through mini trains or by boats. Both of which are very poor options for the Bolivian clay pit. Could truck it over. We don't have a lot of trucking going on, but that would just be one weird straight line of trucks over to, uh, to Bahia. Not unthinkable, though. Also, it might be kind of cool just to have some trucks running around here. It's all very trains in South America. There, there's actually no... Well, there's not no truck cargo, but these two little guys are the only guys that run cargo in all of South America. We could just have the Clay Brigade. Struggle to see the point in that. Bahia is already gung-ho. They would do nothing but put that clay to use for the sake of putting the clay to use. Not to mention, they'd want their own engineering supplies. I don't think that clay pit's worth my time. If it were coastal, or on this side, I would uh, run it by boat, but it's not, so I don't think it's worth our time. You, on the other hand, this little orchard and piggery, can plug into the main line here, no problemo. So we'll do exactly that. Orchard and piggery means double the fun. Also, I don't have the fun of bringing alcohol back up here, do I? No, there's no Venezuela hotel within reach here. There's that, but that would be a little nasty, wouldn't it? Although, I could actually link you with this. No, I'm not going to do that. It's ridiculous. Greg would agree. It's like mass production. And nobody gets that joke because nobody played Outbreak. Link 7, link it up with here. Ooh, that's just the perfect place for it as well. Excellent, Peru would get. It's not that perfect actually, it needs to go back a bit. I need a little space to bring my, my extra little guy in. So this will actually be Peru Woods. Curiously, if I have a track that is too small, will one of the bigger trains use it? Because I'm thinking about having my little two-length guy here, but connecting it to, to Peru Woods. It's not the end of the world, I could just bring it all the way back here. But would that be a problem or not? Yes, we do have a Panama uh, Canal. Here it is. And there's a, there's a boat using it right now. I don't know how much it costs for a boat to go through a Panama Canal in real life, but I'm the one colonizing the whole world and it's all free. Large trains will use small stations, suffer a uh, load and unload. Okay, well that's very bad. That's all the more reason that I want a segregated station for it. Okay, fair enough. You will go here, you will be a separate station, and you will be the... Well, you are the Peru Farms, and Peru North is the Peru Supply. Do, 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 do. There we go. You can all come out to there, and then you'll be able to come in and go to anywhere. Again, I don't know if this kind of uh, design makes people shout and scream, but I really do not see the, uh, the necessity. Pause while I do this list, I ruin things for everyone. I don't need to see the necessity for absolute maximum throughput into a cargo station because there's a lot of waiting around being done there. So that gets you into here and that's a bit of a problem because now I don't have a good way to get you over to there so I should have actually given myself a bit more space to work with. Can I 
have it that tight? Maybe I, maybe no. Even so, how'd she go? Must remove- oh yeah, of course, signal's in the way. Can't wait to find out what I'm going to forget to replace here. But there we go, as long as it all still runs, that should be fine. Feels really nice having this kind of main line that you plug things into rather than having to ad hoc every single thing. And it's all because of this glorious design. Man, just looking at it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. Beats that uh, soulless double diamond design. At least that, that's that's just what you say to make up for the fact that you have no real skill at the uh, at the thing. Aside from some rare cases where people are just doing single easy runs of Factorio, people say spaghetti is soul because it makes up for their lack of ability to make a good boss. At least that's what I'll choose to believe. Right, there we go, you don't need to use up this whole block on your way out if you don't have to. And there's supply, there's um, maintenance right there, there's no need for you to actually there is a good reason for you to do maintenance off here if required. A very good reason, I would even say. Because that's going to stop you from clogging up the main line with your own maintenance. You should do it on the offshoot that's seldom used by anybody else. Alright, glorious. Well, back to it then. First things first. Let's get you some much-needed Fermin supplies. Everybody needs them. Farmers. Farmers' wives. Still gonna tell them to use that if need be. There's no point clogging the whole station for it. There we go, go. So, you just activate that. <laughs> just something so funny about long trains being birthed out of such tiny little stations. I saw a mod that allows you to put those uh, directly on the lines here. And you know what? I'm a little tempted to try that because it means you don't have to keep doing the scutter of putting them on the side. At least if it's on the lines there, you just draw a line and then slam it on. You don't have to find a little side bit. I should consider that. Might look for that uh, between now and next session now that I think about it. So, we need vehicles now, and this is a orchard and piggery. So there's no real reason to do anything other than just steal the design from the last piggery. That's a dairy farm. Amazonas had the piggery, right? Yes, it did. So we're going to steal you. Uh, and that's a good way to remember to steal your orders as well. Where, pray tell, is your livestock guy? We don't want livestock sitting around for too long. You look like a livestock guy. Let's steal both of them. And we will get rid of those orders, because we don't actually want them. So, Livestock Guy. Uh, this is for where again? Peru Farm, right? Stock up on Peru Farm, get maintenance, get maintenance. Come on, down, 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 down. It's a long way to go without maintenance, but I'm sure it'll be fine. They're not that unreliable, right? Go over there, and then come back. Come back, and back some more, and all is well. And you I'm going to want cloned, that's all well and good, so I can just activate you. You on the other hand, I want you to steal those but not, um, not copy them. Well, copy them but not link them is what I'm trying to say. You two are linked, which is fine. You, on the other hand, when you get to the farm, make sure you are all sorts of fruity. And when you are at the steel docks, make sure you are all sorts of... Hang on, there's no way to bring the alcohol. Glad I caught that, otherwise we'd be floating around with unnecessary alcohol. Okay, even so, just go and bring that fruit. Oh, I love how this fills up. It just looks so nifty. You're going to be hanging around there, potentially clogging up the um, the supplies guy, but that's okay. These guys will be running gung-ho, which means at the turn of the month, this will triple. I 
approximately. That's not tripling. Maybe it's only two and a half. Mm, enhance rate. There should be something for gung ho. Production. There should be something to indicate the amount of uh, bonus that you. Maybe it's called bonus. No, increase. There's a setting that does something to do with gung ho, and I can't seem to find it. Which is weird, you'd think. You'd think you'd find it under gung ho. Industry. Hmm. Alright, one last look under production. No. it is? Maybe cargo. There should be something that shows the amount that we get from gung-ho and enhanced. I'm pretty sure it's one and a half and three times. Industry cargo generation. Industry cargo generation. No. There's a different one for gung-ho. Type in 300. I have all settings showing, even the weird ones. It's in furs. Ah, of course, of course. I'm looking in the wrong place altogether. I want new Griff settings for furs. There we go. Gung Ho is meant to be 300%. It doesn't look like 300%, does it? It went from about 200 to 240, uh, 445, so. Well, what do I know? Those settings seem awfully low, though. They're uh, not settings, the ratings. That's okay, it will improve. It'll get better if I had faster trains. We will in the future. We'll have high speed dedicated rail in the future. If it just went gung ho, it needs time to catch up. Well, hopefully, not too much time. Out you go, in you go, in you go. Oh, it just looks so good, doesn't it? No need for fancy terminal stations like this. Although this does have a need, right? Pax needs this to flow. Oh god, it's backing up. I don't know why they have so much inner city uh, mail movement that needs to be done. They're certainly struggling on it. But, you know, that's just, that's just their problem for not having a subway. And I feel for them, but I don't think I'm going to improve life for them. They're, they're over 20,000, which is already extreme. How is Greenland looking? Greenland continues to grow like crazy. It has five or ten times the amount of everything it could ever need. So Greenland is going to be fine on its own devices for probably a long time. On top of that, the PAX network doesn't look too bad. Which is weird, because Kalasuk is bloated with passengers, but maybe they're using the train line now. Yeah, look at that. The, we've got this connection between uh, Kazi and Kulusuk. And the reason that's there is because of the metro that I put down. The metro which is running 100%. I really wish I could have more metro trains on this, but sadly, one line, one metro. That's not to say I couldn't widen it, but I'd need to destroy some more people. And trust me, I'm tempted. A couple of houses just need to go bye-bye. I can have myself another tunnel. Such a thing possible. Bear with me. Bear with me. A few people had to die for this, so let's make it worth their while.
going to suck for people needing maintenance. They're going to slow everything down. But how, how's the mail situation? Mail situation's fine. It's all about those passengers that need to move. So what if I just had, like, five of you running? Would that even work? Well, these guys can't even get out of there. It's too full. Alright, but if nothing else, we did manage to triple... Well, not really triple. One of these guys is sitting back here for way too long. Might make more sense just to have two of them running. So, to that extent, I'll just tell you to go away. Eh, doubling is still good, I guess. Only a few people had to die for it. It's kind of elegant the way they switch positions like that as well. So much male movement in South America, they wouldn't be planning a rebellion there. One should hope not. Besides, it's Terra de Fuego. Why would anyone want to revolt there? I'll tell you, I'd be revolting if I lived in somewhere like this. This is too much. Much too much for me. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. Um, right, that food is just not being transported appropriately. But that's fine. Because that just means more of these ships. And these ships run good money, don't they? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. You have... Uh, I don't know when we birthed you, but let's find someone that's been around a little longer. Well, none of them have, but they are making decent money. I should take care of the food transportation. That steel continues to be a problem, but not really. You guys come in, you dump your scrap and take the steel, it's okay. Ah, I was going to look into conditional orders, wasn't I? Yes, yes. Let's see if we can get this done. First things first, though, I need some maintenance done for these poor buggers. And I would want it dropped off in Porta Tor Plaza. Fortunately, we have the capacity to move you over there. Oh, not with that bridge, though, we don't. Um, how about here? Do -do -do -do. Could we just eek our way over? With just the tiniest amount of terraforming? That's that's pretty bad. Could we have a tiny little bridge here as well? Uh, wrong kind of bridge. Tiny little bridge here. And we're going to switch this back to regular railway lest I accidentally make metros elsewhere. And you need to be part of Porto Toro Plaza because that captures the hotel, right? Of course it does. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out conditional orders here. I want to bring alcohol to these guys. I want the best capacity you've got. It's hard to argue with that Goldmire truck. Wait, sort by cargo capacity, and this one is above the Water Perry Edibles? Then again, I need a non-articulated one, so Goldmire it is, even though it's, uh... Oh man, hard to argue with Water Perry, actually. Mm. The game, it, tem it tests me. Alright, these guys are gonna go then. Instead... Get rid of all of that, and have you come out like so. In with Toto. And it's one way. So you enter, you have to loop around before you come back out. I suppose the same should be done around here. fit in with all of this. 
the steel docks. Now, let's see if this can work for us. I want water peri edibles, and I want you to conditionally order? Conditional order jump. Now that sounds weird. I don't... I don't know. Right, let, let's try this anyway. I want you to go to here, and then I want you to go there. Very simple. But I only want you to pick up alcohol when there's more than... 30,000 litres of it. Conditional jump points to an order. Conditional order jump the full load any cargo. Jump to order one when load percentage is equal to... What is load percentage? Ah, we don't have to... Ooh! Right, so I want when... Our waiting cargo... Amount... Of... Alcohol... Is greater than thirty thousand. And in that case, can I actually move this around? Okay, so go to da da da, then go to three only when but what if what if they do this anyway? Uh oh. How do I make them wait for a bit on this order? I don't know. Maybe I should just see you in action first. So, 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 so. Full load. Ba -ba 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 -bum. Off you go with that sweet alcohol. Ba -ba 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 -bum. Hey, a bit of money. Thank you. Now, let's say you only come here when there's a... Oh, no, no, see, so you went to it. How do I not have him come here, uh, do this order unless... Then I should probably have a jump to another order when not. So... If it is less than that, then I want you to jump to order four, which is just... Go there. And it shouldn't be jump to order three, it should be jump to order four. Um... The conditional order jump should be a four, right? So if I delete that one and remake it here. Wait, but then which load percentage is it looking at? Oh, jeez, I don't know how to use this at all. I don't know what points to wear. Mm. Load percentage is the vehicles. Yeah, uh, so I'm thinking weight and cargo. Jump to order four when next station has... Next station? Ah. Right, so you're going to be at the plaza, and then, hey, if... Tierra de Fuego has alcohol of less than 30,000, then you jump to going to Port, uh, Porto de Watsets. Right, so we should continue this all happy happy. And now there is not enough... Not enough... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, well, now there is enough. But they just jump that. Unfortunately, it's a duplicate order. So what am I meant to do? Just have him run around in circles? I don't know how to tell him just wait. Maybe I could tell him to go to the nearest depot. And then he just sits in the depot and waits. Remove order one. Yeah, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Is he just going to wait at... Uh... 
wait at uh, Porotoro. Right, it's too often at that level. Let's change this to uh, 300,000 because I want to. I want to see him wait. He's waiting, and then let's imagine that you care when it has more than 50,000 because we're getting. Now that's milk, but whenever we get some fruit in, the alcohol amount should go above 50,000. That's fruit. The alcohol goes up. He kicks in. He goes and full loads. Glug. And then he's going to do it again and again until we're below 50,000. Which we are. Well, not, not for much longer at this rate. Okay, the real test is can this work with many of you? I'll throw six of you out here. One. There we go. And they're all just waiting. Failing to overtake. For some reason. And then they're going to wait. Oh, look, the alcohol is there. So they're going to go and pick it up. Yum, 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 yum. And they just wait around here. I don't think there's a waiting order, but that's fine. They seem to wait just fine. Except for whenever there is uh, too much alcohol. Then they go for it. Now, does this help in any way? Not really. <laughs> there's quite often uh, a lot of alcohol. Maybe it should be waiting available cargo? Accepted, timetable, percent of times, hmm. Because normally you dump a load and then pick it all up. I don't really need your help. I don't want these guys getting it when it's there, so maybe it should be when it's uh, less than quite a high value. Something like more than 250,000. That's quite a lot, though. Well, not really. That's 250 units. And these, uh, these male, uh, these... Rooty vans. 280, of which we get most of it. Alright, so if it's ever above 300,000, then you go and help out. My concern is that you guys sit around here for too long, unable to operate, because this is a tiny, tiny little place. Even if you are over, uh, overlapping each other. A shame. But that could be sorted by having fewer of you here. Let's just have all of you guys go to depot. you'd be so kind as to, I don't know, skip an order. And then you guys seem to pile up A-OK. -okay. Alright, very cool. That way, if we ever have too much alcohol here, these guys will just shift it. They won't make much profit. In fact, their running costs are probably going to make them non-profitable. But it'll keep the rating higher on the alcohol, which will allow more of the alcohol to flow via the trains on the way back. Ooh, I like this. I like this rather a lot, I'll even say. Only other thing is I'd quite like these guys to go via Waypoint, because I think the lack of Waypoint is stopping them from having a good place to go. There, De Fuego Waypoint, and then... sense. So they're waiting here and then if there's ever too much alcohol they're gonna go and pick it up and go and grab it. Easy peasy. And that shouldn't happen often. Well actually it's pretty close to happening right now. Because we do have, we have the other guys that bring in fruit don't we? Yeah we do. Something's wrong with you. 
Oh, right, you're a milk guy. I just had a sudden thought that maybe, just maybe, some of these guys are full of alcohol for some reason, because I might have cloned a vehicle that was already set to alcohol. But then it wouldn't be at the meadows, would it? It would be at the piggery. I should double check that. We've had that happen before where I've cloned someone that was set to the wrong good and then it all went terribly wrong. But no, you guys have fruit just fine. And the Amazonas farms are getting fruit just fine. What mod do you use to show what towns need to grow? That is the script Renewed Village Growth. So you, you can just find this on the in-game's uh, downloader and then set it using the AI game script settings. Very simple and it's very good. I like the fact that towns need goods to grow well. In the vanilla game all you need to do is set up five crappy little stations and have them running and the towns will grow large and forever. But here, the reason that Terra de Fuego and Greenland are growing like weeds is because we dump an untold amount of goods that they desire, more than they need, but we're, we're ready for the future. And the reason that somewhere like British Columbia is failing to grow that well is because, although we give them all the passengers and mail they need, they don't get any of the fish, fruit or milk that they want, nor the coal, iron ore or scrap metal that they want. So even though they grow because we help them with passengers and that, they also shrink. And the shrinkage rate is quite hefty. It's apparently 20% monthly decay times 2. Whether that's 40% uh, or 44%, I don't know, but even though it tries to grow, it also shrinks, so sucks to be them. And we could solve that by giving British Columbia those goods, but British Columbia doesn't have an accepting uh, industry for it. And besides, there's barely the space, nor the incentive to make British Columbia a thriving metropolis. Terra de Fuego and Greenland, on the other hand. Mm. Every continent gets its own shining star. Decay means decay of the good stockpiles, says Naffle. You sure about that? Because otherwise, these cities would surely just keep on growing even if they get this tiny amount, but that's not the case. Well, maybe it is the case, thinking about it. There is, uh, there is Florida. Ah, but Florida does get some of the goods they want. A lot of the goods they want, in fact. The reason they don't grow is because of this. Why would you think that that means decay of stockpiles? I don't understand. I would have thought it would be decay of the town growth, that would make more sense to me, but I don't know this game inside out and I am open to the idea that I could be dead wrong. Some of these packs are starting to get pushed a bit because of the growth that we have going on. That's okay though, growth is good. One must always grow infinitely. It's how it worked in City Controller, which is what the script is based on. Is that so? Oh well. However it works, it's still giving the end result that I was hoping for. And surprisingly, we never thought Ecuador would amount to anything and they just embezzled all of our money, but they're doing quite well. The metro is holding well, even though it's only two trains. It is still only two trains. I suppose part of the problem is the coverage is pretty ropey around here for poor little, uh, poor little Ecuador. A lot of these guys are getting ignored. We could get them a little service to help them out, but we could also not. I mean, James is Ecuador. Should have shoved Ecuador over here. Okay, we almost have three billion. That sounds like a good moment to start colonizing Africa. Unless there are any resources here that I really want and have not yet exploited. There is a wee little orchard and piggery over there, but it is very wee. Still could plug it in here, but I reckon Terra de Fuego has plenty for now. Now if we find a an iron ore mine, now that I would like, because it would further increase the amount of steel here. Because you know, obviously we don't have enough steel coming out. I don't get it, that's just... Oh, hang on, steel would be a great one to just offload so that we keep the ratings high. Who wants steel? Yeah, now that's a good idea. Oh my god, that food is getting outrageous. Right, we, we need a lot more of these food ships. The 
cost of running a food ship is nowhere near the cost of not having that food transported, so get going. Right, a conditional order to bring steel somewhere. Terre de Fuego has their own dairy now. And it's a powerful dairy. It could be even more powerful if we plug it in. Hard to say no to that. We need a bit of a longer lead out to this. Nah, forget it. Leave it be. Um, where can I bring steel to? Steel is wanted in steelworks, and we have one over here. No, that's a sandworks. Matt, help me out. Where do we have steel mills? That's the wrong one. It's a metal workshop. Very, very inconveniently placed. However, there is one... I went under it. Is that you? That is you. I could make some decent money bringing excess steel back there. But the order becomes a little weird, doesn't it? I would I would kind of want them to wait here until it's uh, ready to go and then they shoot in and take it. I'm not sure if that's good, especially since, as we can see here, the steel is actually being picked up. Yeah, they're just waiting on the massive amounts of these... Uh, scrap metal trawlers to come through. I want to make sure they're also grabbing it out of Florida. Florida man is being drank dry as we speak. The rating is always a bit poo though. I think it's just because of the infrequency of my boats and the sheer amount of metal that it's producing. It's okay, it's a problem that solves itself largely. It would have been solved better if I had a train line that runs it over to a dock here instead of directly docking it. Because then it will always be pulled away from here and then, we'll, then the rating will be a lot better. A lot more scrap metal to be had too. Fewer runs running empty. I'll admit it's tempting. I will continue to admit that it is tempting. Seven length station over here that just goes straight over there. Might seem foolish, but I think I will connect you to this bone yard and just have you sent over here. This so called orchards will be connected up to this dock, which might actually be of use to me. No good reason not to do that. Um, right, new vehicle. Maximum speed is of little concern. I'm just looking for... Chings, do any of these carry scrap metal? No, no they don't. In that case, we just need some good old power here. Actually, do we even need much power? I reckon a relatively cheap train. It just, it just needs to drag it over here, doesn't it? Cargo decay defines the amount of stockpile cargo which is lost each month. In that case, how is it relevant to the town growth? Like, look at that Diablo. Ooh, a wee little diesel kelpie. That sounds cool. Now, I need to take all the scrap metal that I can over here, and I care about capacity, nothing else. Scrap wagons, scrap wagon up to size 7 we go. 6.8, can we not have another little scrap wagon, a medium one perhaps? 7.2, no. Small little scrap wagon. There we go, 7.0. Your job is to fill up on scrap metal, and at the Florida Orchards you need to unload it all. Get on it. Am I paused or something? There we go. Okay, now, these guys, instead of going to Florida Boneyard, I want you to go to Florida Orchards. At Florida Orchards, I want you to refit to 
scrap metal. And I would actually like you to not have this anymore. There we go, go. So you are actually going to grab all the scrap metal here and bring it straight over. What's your top speed, by the way? Well, it doesn't matter, top speed of the, uh, the cargo trains. What did I make? I give it a Kelpie, as I recall. It goes 168, but that's unnecessary because the scrap wagon is going to only go 120. Even so, there is method to this madness. It should improve the rating on scrap metal a lot because, there we go, the target rating is now 93 instead of 60 something. And that's going to be a lot. That's essentially going to end up being about 50% more scrap metal compared to what we were getting before. All because they go, hey, this train is really nice. It picks it up and just bumps it the next town over. But that means that there should always be a lot more scrap metal for these guys to come and pick up. And if nothing else, I don't need to worry about my rating for scrap metal here, because there's no one to really get in my way regarding that, unless... Okay, good, you don't have coverage of this, uh, of this scrap metal yard. If you did, that would actually be a problem, but you don't. You, however, do. At least I hope you do. I wonder if there's an easy way to check that. I can just re-put you there. Yeah, if you were one unit over to the right, that would have been a problem. And I'm glad I glad I checked for that now. So there we go. Always grab the scrap metal. Get that um, get that percentage up. And it should be going up. And there we go. Excellent. More scrap metal, more money. And all we needed to do was have one little Floridian going back and forth here for us. RVG is what causes the funding option to be unavailable every time you load the save. Fancy that. Not a big deal though, can just be re-enabled. Alright, glad we got even more sorted there. I still want this space just in case. This, uh, this is actually getting a little bit busy, isn't it? Not to the point of being a problem. But it's not unthinkable that it could become a problem in the future. Look at all these cargo trains coming in. Good thing dumping is so quick and easy. Still, I love to see it, and I love to think about the sheer profit that it's creating for me. Go and grab all that Matthew steel, please. Mm. To think even with the huge amount of steel backing up here, your ratings are still good. And where are... Oh, here we go. These guys are operating because, conditionally, they were told to grab that alcohol. The rating on alcohol, still pretty good. Oh, right. This is great. And I love, I love having found these conditional orders. This opens up a whole new world. Mm, slightly salivating at the very thought of it. I do wish I could have had you a little tighter in here, and I do think there's a solution to it. If I had you come along here, and then turn around and tunnel back through, then that would work. Am I mad enough to do such a thing, though? I'm not sure I am, and I'm pretty mad. I wonder how ridiculous the steel production rate is going to be if that steel mill gets iron ore. Pretty ridiculous. Ridiculous to the point where I will probably have to supplement its, um, its exports of steel. Then again, it still doesn't make quite as much steel as the beating heart of the USA, which makes over double. And it's still not all picked up. There's a lot of steel here needing a bit of, uh, bit of attention. And that steel all goes to where exactly? Oh god, a metal workshop that doesn't get chemicals? That's a poor choice of putting it into. And you're backing out with goods, right? We have problems here that need fixed. The problem is... No, no, it does not need fixed, right? There's more money to be made if you do fix it, but if you start fixing this, there's no end to the problem with America that we need to get sorted. It is a crying shame they don't get chemicals, though. 
All right, no. America's industrial capacity has helped with colonization efforts, but I think America can take a seat in their easy chair now and uh, grab their iced tea. It's time for the rest of the world to do the pulling. And in this case, Terra de Fuego is making a hell of a pull. Let's actually do... I know we're we're about to colonize Africa, right? I keep saying we are. But it's a good a good time to get a recap since we have fully colonized the new world at this point. I believe fully. I've been... <laughs> Oh, I missed somewhere very important. Newfoundland. I just assumed it was there because I left this uh, this placeholder. But there'll be some very, very angry Canadians out there who realize that I ignored Newfoundland. Well, this cannot be. We'll do Newfoundland, then we'll do a recap in our economy. Then we're heading over to establish our Liberian slave colony. What a dark and twisted thing. I wonder if Americans ever really talk about Liberia. Is it, like, is it something that comes up? Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, how does Newfoundland rope into everything? Not really sure they can justify any kind of train station. I suppose I could bring them over to Labrador, but we're already putting strain on a very strained network. Well, calling it very strained might be over the top, but still... Maybe I could send them up to Greenland and down to Maryland. That way they can go to Greenland and then Greenland Central isn't a busy place, so they'll be able to go south to Labrador and Quebec and... It does make me a little sad that there's no connection from Northwest Territories over to Greenland, but this is just a cargo run. It kind of is, it just goes through Quebec. The very, very busy Quebec Central. But that's only because they all want to go to New York. So, Newfoundland... I don't know, maybe Newfoundland could go to Nova Scotia, and then Nova Scotia should go down to Maryland, because... I reckon that's the real busy point, and I should use the ethereal nature of boats to my advantage. Holy, holy... All these people that want to go to Colombia, didn't I set up a massive boat network to help with this? Yeah, Colombia to Maryland, and it's still not enough? Let's, let's pause to get an idea of this. All these people that want to go to South America. Kind of a scary number. I wonder if TBW is taken aback by seeing all these notifications of uh, people that want to go to TBW. Right. Was it just passengers or was it also mail? See, I, I told myself if I look at America's problems, I'm never going to stop. Right, it's, it's passengers on the... Maryland side, and it is passengers on the Colombian side. So I need to identify a Colombian passenger fleet. That's you. You right there. Your first stop is Colombia, and the point is we just need a lot more of you. So there we go. That should help out. Now, Newfoundland. Little baby Newfoundland. As we've been told, found the town before you found the stations, otherwise the stations don't get linked to the town and that causes all sorts of problems. Newfoundland. And yeah, it was a Bob Ross thing to say because I stole it right from him, talking about the easy chair and the, um, the iced tea. Right, what are we going to do? We could actually cover most of Newfoundland with, uh, with docks. And then the boats themselves can figure out the best way to take. I just like that, that's most of Newfoundland taken care of. And where are they going to go? Well, I'll set them up with a network up to Greenland, Nova Scotia, and do I even want them to go anywhere else? Labrador does have a little dock there. Eh, we'll give them a bunch of places to go. No, that's a bad idea. That's a pretty bad idea. You should concentrate your people in one place when it comes to these. Get that mail ducket, have it go from hither to... Where did I say I was going to shove them? I oh, already managed to forget. Look, this north line isn't busy. If they ever want to go to Greenland, they can just take that. Get that 
get it automatedly timetabled out and get them going. And then otherwise, what did I say? Nova Scotia? Oh, Quebec is so busy. I should throw them up to Nova Scotia and then later give Nova Scotia a better one. Hither to... Does Nova Scotia even have a port? Is this just a fishing port? No, I think it's part of Central. There we go. Clone you, timetable you, and add another one for mail. And off you go. It's not a huge amount, but at least these boats are pretty fast. So it should serve Newfoundland quite well. We'll see how they do at the turn of the month. Fun fact, that island is called Labrador. And why is Labrador here and why is Newfoundland here? A genuine Canadian gave me this map of Canada. So I'm inclined to believe it. There we go. It's a bit slow, but Newfoundland will be okay. They're going to want fish, fruit, milk, china, clay, coal, and sand. They'll get none of it because there's no room for Newfoundland industries. Well, that's not a given. There's a little bit of space, but I find that cities tend to establish hotels before anything else. Oh, this is cute. This is just Greenlanders who hate what their island has become and have decided to relocate as far from civilization as possible. But unfortunately for you, civilization will come, of that I'm certain. I'm surprised it hasn't spread out here at all, though. But it does continue to grow. The thing is, it grows and contracts. It's contracted by 4,000 people, actually. But that's just how it goes. They start tearing down buildings to build bigger and better buildings. Better. This isn't my idea of better, but it's open TTD's version. Right. Enough being distracted by the USA. Let's look at our economy and then judge from there. Also, let's kill this cargo flow legend because it, uh, it is useful. Very useful, even. But I find it clutters things quite a bit. So do all these signs. There we go. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I love seeing this, but it's this kind of view is better zoomed in if you want uh, a view of everything moving around. I find this to be really nice. This is something I wouldn't mind having on my wall. Just an animated view of watching all these vehicles move around. You can easily tell how cluttered my road network is in North America, though. Love to see it. Just love to see it. Okay. Money. We are making boon dollar, I would dare to say. Now, every year, we can actually establish four new cities or countries in this case, and that's gone up from the very long uphill journey it was just to make one when we started out making Mexico. So, what do we do? Or rather, where does this money come from? Well, this is a lot of numbers, so let's just look at these numbers instead. Our trains together make 100 or made 151 uh, million last year. Of that, most of it came from packs. Then again, the vast majority of them are packs. So that's not unreasonable. Still though, it's good to see the PAX is, uh, is as profitable as it is. A game like this, I end up worrying that it's more down to cargo than anything else. What is your problem? Oh no, that wasn't a problem, that was it working exactly as intended. It backed up here because there wasn't a place to get there, and you backing up did not cause further backups on the, uh, on the line. Love it. Cars con uh, continue to make us reasonable money, but they have been far out outperformed by trains now. Still a reasonable 60 million last year, coming in from the vehicles. Very few of them are packs. Oh, no, that's steel. Very, very few of them. But even so, packs, vehicles making decent dosh? Astonishing. I think we've gotten a lot better at this game than last time, then. Our ships bring in hearty amounts of money. $236 million last year. How much of that came from PAX? Barely any, but PAX is just there for Caribbean Islands and um, the other ones. Caribbean and Hawaii. Granted, a lot of them are ungrouped, but I group my vehicles together off stream just so we don't have to spend ages dragging things between here and there during our valuable stream time. And we haven't enhanced our fleet at all, it is still the same six planes that travel between Greenland and Alaska. 
but at the very least they do pay for their own infrastructure. I'm glad our income has gotten so high that it dwarfs infrastructure costs here, but 20 million. 1.7 million are the airports and you're making more than that. Now I did switch these guys out to only bring mail on the way back rather than uh, passengers and mail because this was getting absolutely flooded with passengers. But now, you stay there, you load up on the mail, and away you go, because you're on a timetable. That seems to work out fine. I hope you're not overloaded on alcohol here. Not really. So it's a very, a very finely tuned air passage. It just doesn't make tons of money. Mm, do we have better airports available yet? We have an international hub available, meaning we can have helicopters and six planes loading and unloading. And have two uh, two lines coming in. It's also bigger, and I believe has bigger reach. Helicopter airports are just... Ugh. Maybe there's a use for helicopters some way, somehow, but there are no oil rigs to worry about. So I'd very much struggle to find a use for helicopters. We will try, though. We will try our damnedest to find a use for helicopters. One thing they could do is supply, say, engineering supplies to a clay pit like this. I wonder about that. I really wonder about that. Oh, but helicopters cost so much in maintenance. I just, I'm more than a little curious. Um, could we make a helicopter here? I saw you breaking down, don't worry about it. These specifically look like, oh, no, no, we have a helicopter. Can we sort by... I guess it would be maximum speed, because helicopters are slow. We only have one kind of helicopter, that can't be right. It's all large and so I thought I had a mod for more and interesting choppers, but no. Ah, the airship is a helicopter. It's slow, but it's cool. What if it carried engineering supplies for... Ooh. So we could actually blimp around farming and uh, engineering equipment. Which is more, if we had a situation like you, well we already bring you engineering supplies so that's a bad example, because it was somehow convenient for us. There's a remote dredging site here which is just normal. Imagine where does, where does all this sand go, by the way? It goes all the way to Greenland. What Greenland wanted more? What if... I don't to experiment here. I know I keep putting off... I, I am well aware that I am constantly putting off uh, Africa here. But just imagine, if you will, that's a really bad place to put it because it's hard to see, isn't it? Um, yes, 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 you don't like it. Yada yada. I would also like to know how much this is going to cost me in maintenance because there's a good chance this isn't actually going to be cost effective. Our very own heliport here. We would need a heli depot elsewhere, but as long as it can grab those engineering supplies, which you do have for me, right? Yes, you do. So imagine, if you will, we had a blimp, except for engineering supplies, which fully stocked here, and then... Yeah, I'm making life hard for myself. Then went and dropped it off there. How much did those airports cost me, by the way? I brought this up, but I wasn't actually looking at it. Together they cost about three million, and there's no way I'm going to make that three million out of this blimp. <laughs> How can you not think that's so cool? I think it's so cool. I really hate this train network. I look forward to the day I destroy it. Sand, chemicals, it drinks up more engineering supplies than it deserves, and I'm pretty sure these run at a loss. Yeah, now that is just sad. I will someday destroy you and reroute all of the boats here. 
there are more boats than I thought about, gems. 300,000 for those two heli stations, yikes. Wait, 300,000? Yeah, I suppose. Okay, now there's you. You run very expensively and not very quickly. Thinking about it, it would have made a lot more sense to run the faster chopper. Curious how long this journey even takes you. Blimping halfway to Hawaii, what could go wrong? Just ask the Japanese. Guess better be worth my time. How much money is this? Empty, so. <laughs> At least that sand goes to a better place. Yeah, the bit, the big boon here is getting the gung ho um, production on you to bring more sand over, because sand is certainly worth the good money. Hey, the blimp returns. The blimp says, "Where are the goods?" Broken down, of course you're broken down. How long did that journey take you? Seventy days. So actually, this works very well, just from the perspective of supplying this with enough goods to go gung-ho. And bearing in mind the sheer amount of money we make on transporting that sand, which actually looking at you isn't that much. In 18 years, you've only made 5 million? Maybe it's just because we have too many, um, too many sand haulers here. Anyway, it's ridiculous enough for me to keep it. The idea of this blimp limping its way over to there to drop off engineering su uh, supplies for that sand dredging site fills me with joy. So we will make an effort to use helicopters this time. They seem awful, but maybe they have some niche uses. Now I'm born in the game, says Mordkalb. I have no train station. Sorry, but we voted against Europe in favour of Africa. So let's get going with Africa, shall we? Um, unless anybody can have a really good alternative idea, I would like Liberia to be our golden child. As in, it's the one we dump all the resource into to try to make super huge. But there are some reasonable alternatives. Chad, for example, would be pretty cool. It's also got a lot of space for it, which would make life easier for us. Madagascar, of course. Ghana on the Gold Coast. There's Ghana, but Ghana doesn't strike me quite as much as Liberia does. And I do want to get that Liberia Hoi 4 campaign done someday. Somalia. Clearly the hub of Africa. I'm not so sure about that one. Although it will be the gateway to beckoning lands. Carthage? No, certainly not. Well, people are just saying names. They're not even trying to justify it particularly well. So I think it's going to be Liberia. Lovely Liberia. And I'm going to start by flattening it out massively. Sorry, glorious African... Uh, Lands here, but needs must. There's absolutely no point in me dealing with uh, any of this nonsense. So, Liberia, you're going down first, and I'm going to start by giving you the most splendid inner city possible. Well, I'm going to start by establishing you. Found town. Slight difficulty. It's uh, going to be connected to the New World, which I suppose is the New Old World, by boat. There's no other reasonable way to connect the New World to the Old. And Liberia is not exactly coastal where we have it here. I could move it coastal. I'm sure if I want to, though. Besides, it, it doesn't really matter. It's all going to um, it's all going to connect up one way or another. Then again, then again. No, I might actually have it central over here regardless. Still, found uh, found Liberia first. We still can't do large cities. Uh, you know, I'm going to force it to get to have a 3x3. Three three. No, no, I won't believe in the random. 3x3 three three is the most convenient, but if I start doing it for one city, I'll do it for them all. So, here we go, Liberia. 
make me proud. Oh, would you look at that? It came out three by three. Recht. It also spawned with... Is that a hotel? No, it's just... It is a hotel. But it's a single hotel. Okay, it's not an industry. It just is conveniently hotel-shaped. Can we do a mass underground rail, says Bandit of Deception. Well, your wish is my command. But only because your wish is my wish. Let's make that abundantly clear. Mass underground rail. Let's have it. I will want the central over by the um, by the coast. It's just going to make it a lot easier for linking up our stations. And I like things easy. Well, that's not true. I actually like things that are ball-bustingly hard, but you know how it is. Some days you want things easy, I suppose. Now, this isn't even as big as Greenland is right now, but it's a start. This is probably the only African place that's going to be this huge. But don't worry, this isn't setting a precedent. We're just doing this because we know it's going to get big. Now, because we set up Liberia first, that means when we do the train station, it's actually going to link to Liberia very conveniently. And... Uh, oh! Dedicated high-speed railway is now available! Tell me more about dedicated high-speed railway trains, please. The AC Electric Helmwind. Very high speed, they say. I haven't actually thought about how we're going to connect Africa to itself, but since we've done this kind of bit-to-bit-to-bit -to -bit -to -bit network, I think we might do it a little differently. What if we just have a giant cross for it? So they can really go high speed. So it'll be something like Liberia to Chad to Eritrea. And everywhere else is just going to have to plug themselves into the big points. Because I want this high speed to actually work for me. And who really cares about these African... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's okay to be racist against some people. Less okay to others, right? Let's, uh, let's try to fine line, shall we? Point is, we're going to give you a six track. And we're going to stick with five... No, this is a good opportunity to change the length of our trains. But I'll be honest, I really like five. It's not so good for hauling loads of people around, but it's a lot more convenient for fitting in the stations. And I will want this to go all the way around, so I think I'll stick with five then. Why not? In any case, it's going to be our terminus, and it's going to be right... here. The trainless Virgin Islands versus the high-speed rail, Chad. Okay, when you put it like that, I can't not connect it to Chad. It must be done. Right, Liberia. This is Liberia Central. And just to future-proof ourselves, we know that it's going to be connected up to a dock. Love docks so much in this game. Their sheer throughput is nothing to be sniffed at. Um, rather than build it out now, I will simply tell the local authorities that I own all of this and they're not allowed to do anything without my permission. And I reckon it will come up and then out and over, high speeding it over to Chad. That's a long way to go though. Maybe actually it could... Oh god, now I'm just making more problems for myself. I'll be honest, I haven't fully thought how I'm going to link up all these cities. There are a lot of them, after all. Maybe I'll do high-speed Liberia to Chad, and then build all the other... Um, build all the other cities and then figure it out. And we'll start by just doing North Saharan Africa, or Saharan and above Africa. Because I don't have the money to do all of it, and there's a fair few cities down here. The high speed rail Chad, it does crack me up. I'll give you that for free. Anyone know why this number goes green? It's not drawing or anything, it just why is it green? Okay. This is all well and good, but in a way it's not good enough. What we know that we want is a lot of underground railing. That might not be the best way to put it, but we want it anyway. Now 
And this is just going to be one and one, and this of course is going to link to central so everyone can get around. But I'm starting to wonder if I could have it two by two. Now that would be really cool. Then we could have them run uh, donut rings. I said I wanted to do it, so we'll do it. We'll just figure out how. Or rather, we will have to figure out how. So in this case, it's two tracks and that length. So it runs up yay far. And I think, given its spacing, it needs to skip two. Should it even be going out in that direction? Maybe we should be going this direction. We don't know which way Liberia is going to grow, after all. I suppose I could force it to grow in a certain direction, but I could also go with concentric rings here, couldn't I? Don't see why I couldn't. Alright, let's get rid of you then. And then what I'd want to do is bring you down here. Slam you down here. And this is where it gets complicated. But no one said it would be easy. I would need you to be able to come around like so and then tunnel your way across. We can already tunnel here. And that's pretty damn sweet. I love, love the tunneling through this. It just, it's so right, isn't it? And then, and then, and then, they would skip to and then come in here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. These are going to run at a loss for quite some time, but that's just how much we care about Liberia. Then again, wouldn't I want it to make a turn at this point? Because we're kind of, uh, kind of going a bit beyond our range at this at this injunction. There's actually a couple of people, a couple of bits being missed out here due to the uh, the shape of this. Eh, it might not be the end of the world though. Do we have Liberian place names? Oh, we better. We're gonna need a bunch of them. Do, do, do. I could bring you actually closer a bit and turn you down here, couldn't I? That's an idea. And I do want to have these kind of concentric ring things going on. Alright, flatten you out first, shall we? And let's see what we have with... Here, la 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 la, and then I would want you to pop there or so, maybe even here. That still tunnels through appropriately. I would actually need at this point areas for them to get some maintenance. It doesn't really matter that they go on or off the beaten track, they're so small that they can just go and get that no problem. And I doubt it's really going to impact anything so much. But I still would want them to come out and get some love around here. Normally I just have you come out straight like so, but now I've got a lot more space that you have to come here. However, it still runs under here, so that's okay. It just doesn't stretch the way I want it to. It won't get quite as much of central Liberia as I would have hoped, but that can be offset. I can add some extra tram lines or something if I'm so incredibly disturbed by that setup. Sadly, some of these guys are going to have to go for the greater good. Not many of them, evidently. Oh, see, that's rather nice. And the coverage does miss a bit around here. Actually, it misses a considerable amount around here, but again, it can be... Um, can be supplemented, it's no big deal. And then you're gonna dip, dip, and then come out here. Evan, 
Who knows where exactly, but something like so. Tunnel you through. Put you out here. And then you can make your turn around. Having two of these is certainly more complicated. I think we can do it a much more... A much nicer way with just one. And as we see in... Greenland, we don't exactly struggle by having one here, do we? Well, it is a bit of a pain because it means, since it goes around this way, anybody in Nook wanting to do it at Kanak has to ride all the way around on the metro. But I wonder, could we just have one-way metro and then have the trams going the other way? No, not trams because trams can make use of uh, both lines. We could have a one-way road with road vehicles. Right, I actually prefer that more than my double tram system. But we're going to stick with double tram because I want to try different systems. There we go. Justify your failures. That's how it should be done. And we just need to tunnel our way across here and then make a fine turn. Yes, and yes, and a bit more yes. Does that actually come out the way we want it to? Almost. Okay. Pretty cool. Mm-hmm. No need for signals or anything. They know exactly where they're going, is what I would say, but... They should definitely have signals, because there might be more than we can really handle here. Uh, okay, outside goes that way, inside goes that way. Is that working? Yeah, it comes down and around. Uh, like so. Da -da 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 -da. I should see the cross there. Cross there, thinky there. Cross there, blinky there. Okay, I think that's set up A-OK. -okay. Let's get it going, shall we? Um, do I really only have this selection of Metro? These Metros are 40 years old. Well, these Metro trains, rather. Right, well, be that as it may, we have a journey for you to make. Uh, it starts off with... Yeah, they're actually going to go the right way. I hope they do. It doesn't matter. We'll start it off with Central. Like, is this going the right way? Oh, Cribbins. Which one are we using here? Li Liberian Train Depot. That's this one. And it goes around this way. So it actually needs to start its journey at Liberia Central. Sure. But then it goes around to South, East, Liberia, North, Valley. And then back again. And, 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 and... I'm going to want also you for the train, for the mail. We want you to copy the same order and then we need to do some weird cloning. That should be sufficient for now. Out they go. Now, I would like you to do much the same. Just cloning that's probably going to cause me some issues, so we will start with our mail van. And they have to go the other way, but that's okay. They still go to Liberia, and then they just head north. If I'm making mistakes with this, please do yell at me. I'd rather, rather know now than later. Make another one, copy that over, and then clone them. Wrong one to start with the cloning. There we go. Now let's just have them run out a bit. And how's that? Well, it's pretty terrible because it's not actually taking anyone to anywhere. No, no. The only thing that reaches anywhere is... Uh... Oh, is that true? No, you just barely cover each other a little bit. Liberia is going to need a lot more than this 
really uh, ineffectual network to get anywhere. We'll tidy up the roads that we tore down for what it's worth, and it might be worth something. I think we can bridge across here. No, this thing is in the way. Hmm, that's a shame. I want to make sure everything else is as flat as flat can be as well. Okay, well they will want to come down like so regardless. But yeah, there we go, that's about as mu- that is about as underground as we can reasonably make a network. We can't put stations underground, we always have to be able to look at them. But, it will go around and it will not even give Liberia enough to grow, I don't think. I might actually need to supplement it just for now. Um, well, that, that's not entirely true, right? Liberia grabs all of this. The problem are these high-rises and such, which are not currently grabbed. So... Could we do to that regard? Well, they'll still be brought over to Liberia Central and there'll be growth. Let's believe that Liberia will be okay. What Liberia now needs is connection to the old new world or the new old world. Where does it connect to? None of these are particularly great central areas for it. This is one punished train line. But I could bring them over to <laughs> Brazil. So everyone wants to go right. Never enough people over at uh, Pernambuco, so they can go here for now, just to get them moving somewhere. And we'll have them take a very unfortunate, long and probably dangerous journey. We'll give them a waypoint here, which will have a place for them to get some maintenance. Let's help these people get out of here. We'll take the fastest ship around. It's very simple. You go Liberia, boy, Paranam, back to the boy. Automate your separating out. We'll have four of you for now. Uh, oh, Krebens, that, those are male. Um, two of you on the male. Share the order list, I'm sure you can. I'm just going to assume that that works fine. It might be a little dangerous to do so, though. I can actually check you by shared orders here, can't I? Yeah, you all share the order, and I'm sure I put down different ones for mail and for passengers. See, passengers, mail, it's all fine. They'll go and they'll spread out, and then they will sift people from Liberia over to Brazil and back again. In fact, all of the old New World, anybody that wants to go to Liberia can take that route. Colonization of Africa, every 1900 European dream is coming true. Yeah, but it's being done by, well, evidently Brazil, actually. But Brazil was colonized by America, as we all know, so it's all fine. Right, Liberia needs connection to Maryland as well. Liberia is where a lot of Africans are going to end up, and then they'll be shipped to... Oh, actually, this is getting darker than I thought. Any resemblance of real-world events or people is purely coincidental on my streams. This is all acts of fiction, and you would be mad to think otherwise. Clucking mad, I'd even say. give them the capacity to heal up along the way if needed, even though I think that these floating in the middle of the sea is disgusting. It's the only real option we have here. So, Liberia to the boy, to the other boy, to the other other boy, and you shouldn't need the Maryland boy, but I'll give it to you anyway because it's a little complicated getting up to Maryland. God, man. I can't believe Maryland's uh, one of my main American posts. It was one of the first cities we set up, and we did a horrible job of it in retrospect. Right, how many of these are we going to need? Probably quite a lot. It's a long journey. 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And we'll have some mail going as well. And the mail one will clone that order, and then we clone that ship. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Go. They'll spread out, and this is overkill for a long time. But as we colonize more of Africa, there are going to be more people in the old new world that want to go to the new old world. And then they'll fill up these because everyone's going to congregate in Maryland and Aran... Pernambuco to get over there. Hearing it Maryland throws me off. Well, how would you say it, Trass? I'm assuming you're American if it's throwing you off, so perhaps you have a more in tune opinion than me. The only thing wrong with Maryland is its proximity to DC. Maryland? Ugh. Ugh. God, I love seeing those metros go around. Mm. It's kind of invasive in the head. I was riding around on the Stockholm metro a couple days ago, and I just couldn't stop thinking about uh, couldn't stop thinking about Open TTD, the logic behind whatever they set up in Stockholm and all that. Right. Is there anything more to do with Liberia? See, not enough. Not enough. Anything is getting transported here. I might need to supplement it just to get it moving a bit. Then again, if it had its own hotel... You know what? Mm. Right, the problem lies in your lack of coverage here. I think the main problem is that we don't have these high-rises and things, so I'm just going to do the very cheap and cheerful trick of you until we have uh, more of Liberia built up and then we should be okay. No, that that's that's cheap. We're beyond this. We can do better than that. I will give it a little tram that runs around here. That that's a lot less grotesque. The little Liberian tram. If you're not aware of it, I was uh, thinking of using a nasty little trick that involves um, expanding the reach of your stations without actually providing any infrastructure. I still do do it because I'm a nasty individual, but it is very cheap and I actually am loath to use it at times. It might actually be better if you were up here and down there just to get some people stirring around rather than connecting you up to central. So instead I will have you and you there. By the way, we need some cities in Liberia on the double because I've got a lot of stops to name after them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven Liberian cities, if you could, please. Let's get those passengers moving. Uh, strong bar? Oh, there we go. I've made an error here, as usual, haven't I? What am I missing? I want your orders to be Liberia, and then Central, and then there. And I want your order to be Transfer, then there, and we're all good. Because I do want them running opposite directions. This should fix itself once they go in for one stop. There we go. This is a nice thing about trams. But we can do even better. We could say only service if needed. Same for you. Only service if needed. Otherwise I have to pay them every time they go in there and I don't want them to. Alright, we have some assistance. Help us out here. Asura says we have 
Monrovia. Oh, now these need to be called Metro. Got to stick to my naming convention here. Liberia North will henceforth be known as Gbarnga Metro. Great old Liberia is going to be the Buchanan Metro. Like James Buchanan. The Ganta Metro. God, we're going to be learning so many African city names here. We have the Kakata Metro. Which, on reflection, I should probably pull the road out here for, shouldn't I? Otherwise, the city wastes their own time building their own roads. And that's not necessarily what we're looking for. It's going to be funny if I find out that it's not actually a 3x3 layout, and it's just by chance that the first roads were in that kind of layout, but I believe. Plenty of space for you to grow, Liberia, if you could kindly grow. They would all grow better if they had a giant statue of me looking down on them, though. Uh, we missed two more names, so we'll take them now. It is the... Zwerdru. No, Zwedru. And this is a plaza. And Liberian Transfer. Not a bad name, but it's actually the... Harvell Metro. Uh, not Metro, it's a plaza. Come now, Jake, you just said the word. Excellente. Now, Liberia's still not growing, but I'm pretty sure it will soon. Give it the turn of the month and it'll be okay. We do have access to practically everyone here, and they can all leave now. 1991, a good year. A good year for Liberia. Liberia's growth will begin. I forgot to make Liberia City. I should have made Liberia City and I didn't click on it. Whoops. Well, it's no big deal. I mean, Terra de Fuego is not a city. It doesn't seem to have any real problems growing. It's just going to be hard to hold a candle to Greenland. Okay, so, Liberia needs help. Liberia needs either fish, fruit, or livestock. Liberia has established its own shoals already. Unfortunately, there's no way those could be considered Liberian. I'm going to have to do a mass purge of industry once I set up the cities, but I will set up the cities. Doesn't change the fact that it needs fish. Fortunately, looks like the people of Sera are there to help out. If Liberia just has its own little fishing industry, which it will. I can find somewhere that'll have it. It sticks out quite a lot, so I don't want it to be in too awkward a position. Wait, you already have a fishing thing? Apparently. I know what's happened here. We'll need to pause the game to fix it. Uh, we just go find the industry, disable all that, only show me fishing harbours. I reckon it's you. I'm sure I was close. It'll be you then. Yeah, this is the Liberian Fishing Harbour over in Greater Liberia. Just a problem with the way the game generates industry. Not much I can do about it other than delete it and then go back here. Easily sorted though. And we just did. That easy. Fishing harbour, where are you going to go? That'll do. And that will be a Liberian fishing harbour. And it will be serviced by all of Sierra's best fish. I wonder if I have a new kind of dedicated trawler by now. Right, shouldn't need much more than one waypoint along the way. I will give you the ability to get yourself 10 to 2 there and there. Yeah, maybe even here as well. There's no real point in not. And now... Not a lot of fish, but plenty for Liberia for now. Fish, fish, fish. And yeah, the Kwantung trawler is really good for us. There's little reason not to use it. Fill up here, hit up the boy, and then, oh, oh, oh. This isn't gonna do anything unless we actually have ah, crumbs. Um, well, you'll have your own dedicated port here, so that's okay. And the Liberian Fish Market is a very befitting name, so on you go over to the Fish Market, head back again, and we'll probably need something like 
six of you to do that. And just like that, Liberia will get the fish that they desire, but they need more than fish. I don't care about fruit and livestock just yet. They can get that from mainland uh, Africa. China clay, iron ore, or sand. That's a little more oof. But it stands to reason that Liberia should be the place that all the rest of the Africans get their supplies from. So this again can be sorted. It again dips itself into my money, but this is why we have lots of money, I'm sure. Can we set you up here? Or There we go. And that's right in the way of the Liberian fish market, which could be good or bad, but either way we're going to win. That will get us the China clay, if we can get it over here. If we wanted iron ore or sand, we would need a glassworks or a foundry. But China clay can be taken in by a port, and the port is a lovely beckoning way to bring other supplies elsewhere. Trouble is, where do we find some China clay? There's some right here, but we can't use that, because this cannot be deemed Dominican Republics. So, let's go and find ourselves some other clay to bring over. This is just to spur on the growth of Liberia to be as incredibly large as possible. Because the sooner it starts growing, the more it's going to grow into this metro, the less bad I'm going to feel about setting up a very non-cost-effective metro for these people. By the way, I forgot to add something very important into their orders. For you, after you go to Gumbarnga, I want you to go for service if needed. And same for you guys. Before you get to Gumbarnga, I want you to take maintenance if needed. We have a problem. That is a 90 degree turn that they cannot make. Ah. <sighs> Oh. oh my, Liberia has just uh, decided to establish a dairy farm. Okay, this can be fixed. He believes. I need these trains out of the way, though. solutions to this. I'm just not very keen on most of them. It just ends up taking up more space, all the more reason this whole uh, concentric circle design is painful. But if I bring this tunnel a little further in, which will burn more space, then we should be alright. Uh, you there, you just stop right there, Yuan Xiao. I just need to burn these down once people are gone from... Oh, right, one of them's in here and trying to move along, aren't they? Um... There we go. Get out, and you stop right there. There we go. Now... How could I have been so blind? Painful. What a lot of wasted space. What a lot of wasted space. Well, not wasted, somewhat necessary to do this turnaround and have maintenance. What I probably should have done is stuck the maintenance around here. Wait, that makes so much more sense. Why am I not doing that right now? By golly. Oops. We can just tell these guys to go away. And then stick our maintenance here and here. Wow, that's so much simpler than putting it on the bend. You guys are gone now. And that means that we can make this far less ridiculous as well. And it means, actually, you just need to make your, your corner, which I have gone and made longer than it needs to be, but oh well. Err, well 
well now. You're going to be in trouble for a little bit, aren't you? Bonk. Oh, sweet. We got out of trouble. Yeah, lucky, plucky guy. Okay, so you should go through that all fine and well then. And we should make sure that you continue to be signaled up appropriately. Because these signals probably die to death. And you need to be unstopped. The AI worked out that quicker than expected. Well, the AI is pretty good, what can I say? A lot of, a lot of guys coming out of here, but I need to now get rid of you. And now they're going to have invalid orders, which is fine. So let's see, you go to Morovia, Gabanga, but before you go to Buchanan, go there if necessary. As for you guys, after you help Buchanan, go there if necessary. So Buchanan, Defo, Garbanga. Alright, sweet. Lots of them going in for maintenance because they weren't able to get it before, but now out they pop and all is well. Oh, Jinx, look at those metros go. We can even do the see-through to see them all flow. A bit more stopping and starting than I'd like. I haven't missed any signaling, have I? No, it's just that I have a lot of metros, probably more than necessary. Alright, Liberia will soon start getting its shipments of fish. Do we have any coming in? We have one of our Quantungs coming in right now. Any new Griffs? Many of them. Well, many of them. I got five new Griffs. Shark, Furs, Roadhog, AV Aircraft, and Iron Horse. With the game script setting Renewed Village Growth and the JGR patch. Okay, glad we got that sorted. Pretty quickly, I might add. Now we can get back to finding ourselves some clay. We need a clay pit. Again, we can't use any of these because, I mean, let's face it, that's not Dominican Republic's clay pit. And that's a little far away from Sierra to be its clay pit. So I think we need to use one of these South American ones, although... The Quebecois clay pit is not being put to any real use right now. It's a bit of a long haul to bring it over to, uh, to you. However, I don't think clay drops off in value much, does it? I like to always compare things to passengers and mail. The reason being that mail is quite similar to the hot well, it's right in the middle of all the high value goods, and passengers is down there with the raw goods at the top of it, but still down with it. So compared to passengers and mail, clay uh, is ridiculously worthless, but doesn't drop off much at all. Is it the most worthless thing around? No, not quite. Coal is worth less, as is iron ore and sand. It's funny how scrap metal is worth as much as it is. It even drops off to be more valuable than coal at its uh, zenith. Anyway, that aside, and it certainly is aside, let's get ourselves that clay. And would you look at that, we can reach it directly from the port. The Quebec, what would you call a clay yard? The, the pit? But then it's the docks. I don't want to call it the pit docks. Wait a second, the pit dock. Is the pit dock that bad? Eh, we'll call it the pit dock anyway. Anyway, long journey for these poor buggers to make. At not exactly breakneck speeds, but they're going to have to do it. You need to come out to this boy, then over to probably Nova Scotia's boy 1 and 2, then ignore the shoals, come out to this other boy, other, other boy, and then it's time to start hitting the coastline. They have plenty of opportunities to freshen up along the way, but I'll give them more. As hideous as it may look. And we're just doing this to spur on Liberia's growth. Nothing fancier than that. Maximum speed for clay, please. Freight ferry's bad idea. Hello. 48 kilometers per hour with 860 tons of clay. Or 48 with 1920. 
I doubt I'll ever give you engineering supplies, but 320 is not a lot of clay to bring Liberia. That said, I'll keep Liberia good until it's up at about 10,000, so it's just a case of bringing it in regularly. Every month or so should be good, so I want something that's around 300 or so. Well, 300 or less. Oh, would you look at that? 300 on the dot. Very good. Your job is to fill up. Thinking about it, you could bring engineering supplies on the way back. If there are any. That would make it gung-ho. Hmm. Do I really want that, though? I might want these engineering supplies for others. Nah, if other people need engineering supplies, there are better places to get it, I'm sure. Am I sure, though? I'm not sure I'm sure, though. No, we're going to take these engineering supplies on the way back. So. So, so, so. I still want you to full load. And then you're going to make that journey back. Fair enough. From Quebec, of course. Even though this is the Nova Scotia boy. Go and follow the existing Nova Scotia boys, please. They seem to be working fine for the shoals, but once you hit those shoals, you're making the great migration. Don't worry, I know how you feel. Dump it off in the Liberian fish market. Wait, you can't actually switch out for engineering supplies, can you? So, never mind. <laughs> there won't be engineer supplies brought back. Which is probably for the better, since engineering supplies degrade like milk when it comes to length of time in transit. So, how long is this journey going to take? I don't really know, but I reckon... Six of you? Six of you should suffice. It'll take a while before that becomes an issue, I'm sure. This would be a lot better if we had some dang... Uh, engineering supplies, that is hard to deny. And we do have a port right here, which is overflowing with engineering supplies. I don't see a good reason not to make Quebec gung-ho. It's pretty hard to justify not doing it at this point. Alright, maximum speed for engineering supplies. Ducket could bring a hundred. At outrageous cost. And outrageous speed, though, but I like these little freighty ones, so... Why don't you do it, then? Bring all the supplies you can. Head on up to... We're kind of lacking waypoints, aren't we? Well, the Quebec boy is probably close enough for you. And then drop her off and bring her back. I really actually don't think we're going to need more than two of you for this. You're pretty fast. The journey shouldn't take that long. I'm going to watch you, though. I want to see how long this takes. Fortunately, we have timetable for this. Are you going the right way? I've, I've lost sight of you. Where are you? Here you are. Vroom, 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 vroom. The big question is how long is that journey to Quebec if it's... Uh... Well, what am I even thinking about? Ah, I need to add up these days. 9 and 4 and 2 and 1. 13, 15 days, 30 on the way back. So every month... Every month, 30 things coming in. 80 for that. Just in case, though, I will add a third one. We're shooting from the hip when it comes to these calculations, but I think we're going to be A-OK. -okay. Loads of those engineering supplies, and as we grab more of them, the rating should go up as well, so that works out fine. How goes colonialism? Oh, we certainly have the... Oh, what is it called mechanically? Innovation? No, not innovation. Oh, I <laughs> Worked on this game, can't remember anything about it. Anyway, colonialism goes well. Does the JGR patch have the old signals in? Don't know what you mean by old signals. There are plenty of signals. Maybe you mean old style signals, in which case it certainly does. I don't know what these are called. Uh, semaphores. Don't know who operates those. Alright, Liberia, all well and good, but when I'm giving you these goods, I expect more with all these ships. <laughs> Imagine waiting for a ferry, missing it, but that's okay, there are ten more on the way. There's no way these guys are profitable, right? Yeah, not a chance. 
In the Steam version, they hid the complex signals by default. You mean the ones over on the left that I don't touch at all? Blocks, entries, exits, combos, paths. I would like conditional signals so that I could set up priorities. And maybe there is a way to do that. Route finding restriction? I don't know what this does. Signal convert? Well, that's all cool and all, but I'm fine with one way. Uh, one way signals for the most part. The pre signals, I see, I see. Well, a little bit beyond me. For now. Now that we know how to do conditional collection, oh, the world is open to me. Love the fact that we have these weak conditional buggers here. Very, very low level programming inside OpenTTD. New industries in Liberia, right? So, 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 so. The problem with Africa is that all these industries are popping up and they're all probably going to start saying that they're Liberian if they weren't already in existence. Okay, a lot of them are Dominican Republic because uh, the Dom Republic was the closest one for a long time. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to pause the game. Terrifyingly exciting, I know, but bear with me. We are going to locate all the industries that are in Africa right now, or really, I suppose, in the old world. And we're going to destroy them, unless they are actually a well-placed industry. And the only one that's well-placed is this dairy farm that spawned. So, we go around, and we find, say, this Dominican Republican clay pit, and we remove it. Trust me, there will be method to this madness. This is what I do off-stream, by the way, between the sessions. I get rid of all these extra uh, nonsensical industries. I haven't found a way to limit their spawning, but it does. It, uh, somebody was looking at it, I think it was Natal, who was looking at the code, and he said what it does is it just chooses a location to put an industry, and then it determines what the closest city is and calls it that city's industry. Unfortunately, since the majority of the map is uninhabited, the closest industry, uh, the closest cities for the industries are almost all over in the Americas. In this case now, almost all these places, their closest location is going to be Liberia. But that's okay, we have a solution here, for now. Only takes a few minutes, but as I said, I do this off-stream to save time. But we're not doing it off-stream right now, why is that? Well, the reason is because my wallet is absolutely bulging with three and a half billion dollars, and yet it's still not enough. Even so, we're going to get to work when these are cleared, and we're going to do some big-time colonization. When I did this in South America, we did the rail lines first, and then the cities. That mistake cost me about an hour the other day when I had to go and remake all the stations, because if you do it in that order, it doesn't tie the stations to the cities, which normally doesn't matter, but in this case was very important. We also have some shoals out here. Uh, can we call that Rio de Janeiro shoals? I'm not opposed to that, actually, but I am opposed to that being Bahia Sandbank. Away you go. I'm just eyeballing things in terms of distance here, but all of these are, uh, to use a word that I keep using lately, egregious. Nice word. Just feels good coming out of the mouth. But don't worry, we're almost done. By the way, the, the entire reason that I can do this is because I have the magical bulldozer enabled. That's right, we are cheating. Magic bulldozer is on, and I only use it to destroy industries. We also have town rating fixed because otherwise it's only changed once a month. And that is too slow for what I want to do. Notice that not once in this campaign we've had a ugh, local authorities moment. This game is great, but the local authorities mechanic is awful. Which is a shame because it was a, man a mechanic I was really looking forward to. You know, not only thinking about your logistical network, but thinking about the logistical ne network's impact on the cities. Mmm, sounds good. The implementation, however, is dog dirt, so we don't play with it whatsoever. I don't think it can be hard disabled, because too many systems link into it, but it can be completely nullified by using that setting. Eternal Love is another way of modding it out, but Eternal Love only triggers once every month. I want it triggered, uh, triggered constantly. Fortunately, like many things I want, JGR Patch has my back. We're almost done, it looks like we just have the Aussies to take care of. 
the Aussies who lost the vote. We were going to colonize Australia, but the votes ultimately came in for Africa. Yeah, come on, Sawyer, get yourself out of retirement and fix your bloody game already. <laughs> oh, I could never say such harsh words to Sawyer. Living legend in terms of game creation. Every game he makes is best in class, if we only consider tra Transport Tycoon and Roller Coaster Tycoon. And let's try not to evoke the R word there too much. Playing this game has actually made me think, oh, I could well go back and stream some more Roller Coaster Tycoon. Because whilst I love logistics, the logistics are kind of nice to look at, but roller coasters are nice to look at and to ride. I really like roller coasters. The main weakness of Roller Coaster Tycoon is you can't ride your own rides, but I'm willing to accept that because the game is just so much better than anything else in existence. Ah, I missed a dredging site. I... Ooh, no. Argentinian Shoals? I'm going to allow this. I mean, Argentina is right there, and if they can claim the Falklands, they can claim those shoals. Africa can't stand up to them. Right, 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 right. Yes, we'd hate if you stream more RCT2. <laughs> Anything to make you find your passion for games again, Marvin. Right, the time has come. Let's colonize. It um, sounds more exciting than it is. Really, we just go... Should we make it random, whether they're big or small? That should be, that should be nice, actually. We will go random. That way we don't know what they're going to cost here. Uh, Sierra Leone. Down you go. Clunk. And whenever we do this, we just delete the old ticket there. Uh, Guinea. Down you go. And delete you. Wait, what are you? How did I, how did I miss that? It was staring me right in the face the whole time. Uh, okay, looks like they're both medium-sized cities. Funny thing is, we put down Liberia as medium size. It came out with 1,200. Absurdly, there is a Guinea and a Guinea Bissau. Even if I get the names wrong in the town, it's no big deal because that can be altered later on. That's right, you can even rename cities. We're able to rename London if we so wanted. Gambia. We only have to do this about 50 times. Well, the budget won't allow for 50 times. The budget will allow for about 31 times. Senegal, welcome. Uh, gotta remember to delete you. There is a limit to how close towns can be, but I don't think that's ever going to be an issue in this. I don't know, actually. Europe is going to be tight. Some places in Asia, even tighter. Do you not rename your vehicles? You can, but I don't. They're so inconsequential, it's like renaming a citizen in Frostpunk. <laughs> Although that can lead to some pretty good outcomes. Right, onwards with Morocco. Not so bad for the Western Africa. Let's continue on. It's time for Tunisia. Correct me if I'm incorrect, but aren't all these spawning as uh, medium cities? I'm not getting any small ones despite having it uh, set to random. Could it be that random isn't random? Or am I just lucky enough to always get reasonable sized cities? Algeria? Wait, you can rename Frostpunk citizens? The more you. Yeah, you can. Just click on their name and get renaming. Alright, Mali, home of gold and the highest manpower province in the game. One province starts with eight manpower. Eight is an eight manpower development, not eight people. Well, that would also be quite funny. Maybe I didn't have it on random when I thought I did. It's also possible. Burkina. And still coming out pretty big. Wait, maybe that is a small one. How much did that cost? The cost should have popped up. If it was 60 million, it actually came out small. If it was 100 million, it came out big. Côte d'Ivoire. Let's have the French people choke on something for a change. 
This is, of course, the Ivory Coast. I think it always just comes out uh, medium if it's set to random. Broken. Please fix. Sawyer, get over here. Alright, since it's not happening, we'll make some small then. Starting with you, Ganna. Change that is baby small. Any region specific challenges like canals only? New no, nothing like that. I actually want to have a map that I can look at and feel good about later on. Uh, we don't need our company league table, thanks. And I would actually like you pinned. Togo, let's go. Delete Togo, delete the nameplate of Ghana. As if the world isn't full of these little nameplates enough already. Benin. Now let's name it incorrectly. Oh no, it's a Goodwood. Which is cool, but no. And you go Benin. Yeah, that does it for wee places. Nigeria's big. It's also full of Nigerians. Ugh. Worked with a lot of Nigerians in... Uh... In Aberdeen, actually, I didn't see so many of them outside Aberdeen, but they, they're all coming over for the oil work, so it stands to, stands to reason. None of them particularly great people to work with. No, I'm not saying there are no nice uh, Nigerians, I just didn't find them. Right, Niger, down you go. French colony, weren't you? Now, Libya. The Italians get some oil for you, and how do you repay them? Well, for that I'm going to make you a small place. Huzzah. That's on the OpenTTD teams. I'm pretty sure finding them is an OpenTTD feature. I wouldn't... Uh, would not surprise me. Alright, Chad. I'd love to make Chad as big as possible, but... We can still only make you meet him. I can make you a city, however. We'll have the great city of Chad. That cost a lot more money, and I should do the same for Egypt. Egypt should be uh, big and grand up here. There we go. I also remade the, the Nile here. It was broken up in the map for whatever reason. Uh, Sudan? Nah, Sudan. Just gets to be a small, pathetic non-city. Not to be confused with the glorious metropolis of South Sudan, however. Uh, let's not forget the South, it's very important. It must be horrible living in somewhere and, uh, you know, it's so irrelevant that they have to put the cardinal direction on it. South Sudan, North Macedonia, I mean, jeez. Utter emasculation, but on a national level. Eritrea, I've heard this is an awful place in the world, but never been. Never been to Africa, full stop. A friend of mine goes to Africa all the time, though, works with some kind of healthy stuff. Oh, now this is an even worse name. Central African Republic. Who named these places? Probably best not asked. Okay, certainly burning a hole in my wallet, but we have done a reasonable chunk of Africa here. We're going to continue going until we're broke, and then we're going to link these places up. Um, the reason I'm doing all this while paused is to stop industries from spawning and causing all sorts of horrible things to happen here. Djibouti sounds like a small town place, so there you go. Certainly is a small town, but not so small that they can't have their own rugby stadium. Oh, Somalia. Somalia deserves to be at least medium. Ethiopia. Ethiopia has stood the test of time. One of the only countries in Africa to survive colonization. Tell me I didn't make you a city by accident. Okay, no I didn't. Uh, anyway, Ethiopia. Great big city. 
There we go. Ethiopia is showing up as a city there now. Good. Let's uncheck that, lest we accidentally make lots of uh, cities by accident. We can actually see the city list here in the town directory. And it will show city there. So Chad, Egypt, Ethiopia, Greenland, Iowa, New York, Oklahoma, and Texas are all the cities in the world right now. Uh, I need to get rid of Ethiopia here. Right, we're burning down. We no longer even have a billion. South Africa is going to have to wait for later at this rate. So I can only establish about nine more of you. Cameroon. I don't really know anything about the Cameroon, so there you go. Equatorial Guinea. I couldn't name all the uh, city, uh, all the countries in Africa if I tried. But it's easier to remember names that the places mean something to you. What has Equatorial Guinea done for the world? At least Gabon sounds like Gambon, that turn in Top Gear, so it's easy to remember you. Even so, I'm just going to make you wee. Uh, the Congo. The Congo can't be wee. Make a... Make a big old Congo city, no less. Then again, do we want that? Or do we want the DRC to be the big city? I don't know, DRC sounds a bit better for the city tag. You missed an R in Equatorial Guinea. Thank you. Equatorial Gitty, a uh, guinea. Equatorial. Much better. DRC. It was too long a name, so I just call it DRC. But it gets to it gets the big old city tag. Clunk. Yeah, it's going to be harder to link them up since I haven't built the stations first. When the stations are down. Uh, I think Colombia was a good example of it. I just slammed Colombia next to the stations so that it'd be nice and close for coverage. Now, not so much. Actually, tell you what, I'm a little ashamed of those, so they're going to go away. That's actually not the reasoning. The reasoning being is that uh, Colombia is much too packed with passengers, so if there are fewer packs that they can pick up here, that's going to be better on my packs network, but should still retain growth. Right, running out of money. Fortunately, we've slaughtered most of Africa here. Kenya's up next. If you drink Brondo, you can run like Kenyans, you know. Kenya is not a city. Down it goes. Still have a little more money. I could establish Madagascar. And I will establish Madagascar. Ah, the city of Madagascar. Come on, let's be... Let's be real here. Clump. <laughs> Madagascar's crushing the snow on their own there. Good job. Looking forward to seeing Polar Guinea. Mm. Mm -mm. Wait, Guinea, 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 Guinea. Oh, we have Equatorial Guinea, but that's not the one. Angola, Nambia, Botswana, Zambia. Ah, whatever. Right, I have enough money for maybe two more. And I don't think it'll be... No, I'll save that money for setting up my uh, my network. Okay, now then, we can unpause a bit. Freedom Delivery sponsors construction of a new town. Yeah, I sponsored a lot of new towns. Oh, tell you what I should absolutely be doing in all of these places is making sure they all have a statue of me. Oh, not advertising campaign. Statues of me. They might be placed in very unfortunate locations, but statues are great. Ah, screw it. Statues I can do off stream. It's just a lot of clicking for no real payoff. Um, right, so now we get the fun of deciding, uh, designing a railway all the way along Africa, at least northern and central Africa. It's going to be some real nice high-speed stuff, but I reckon it's going to be high-speed Liberia... To Mali to Chad and anybody else is going to get some lower tier trains that plug in there not even saying all of them are gonna get trains I might just have a train network for all of these guys and they just have to road in here and then uh, 
train their way over to Mali, but it's going to be high speed all the way to Chad. And then Chad to... Maybe the Central African Republic. And then DRC all the way to South Africa. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And if I'm going to plug it in like that, it makes sense that South Africa should exist as well. And I don't see a good reason not to just found them as a big old city. It's a blast of my money. Here you go. This is going to be very, very inconvenient for me, I'm sure, given the location and the the sheer size of this. This is wasting five tiles on every bit of perimeter. A lot of space lost, but I can still slam down my high-speed rail here and we'll be okay with it. Also means that we should be able to... I've completely lost my train of thought, but there was something I was thinking would be good because of this. Don't know what it is, but I'm sure it will be. God, I love seeing this, but I don't like my double ring here. I think a far better solution, and it's a solution I'll probably integrate into this area here, is to have a single ring supplemented with, um... What am I looking at here? Not, not uh, trams, but the other road vehicles on a one-way loop should supplement these a whole lot better. You just barely don't reach that uh, hotel. That's a shame. It's a goram shame. You would if you were just one bit more to the north. Hey. What do you mean, if? There's absolutely nothing stopping that from happening. Absolutely nothing. That's, that's a bad start. Other way around, please. And then if you weren't there and you were down a bit, you could be here. And now you are just barely going to reach that hotel. And your invalid order gets replaced to before Ganta. Go there if need be. And there we go, now there'll be a lot more passengers getting... Holy smokes, that's a lot of passengers. Well, that should help Liberian growth considerably. I'm not sure if it will. Actually, I'm pretty sure all hotels serve to do me now is to clutter up my PAX network with massive amounts of passengers. Even so, we'll just assume it's doing us some good. All those tourists to Liberia needing a hotel, yeah, far away from the Liberians, it seems. I actually suspect that my profits are going to be taking a bit of a nosedive for a wee while. I set up a lot of infrastructure that isn't going to be profitable. But now I can set up my... Oh god, no, it's going to get even worse, isn't it? I'm going to set up high-speed rail. And the... I suspect the infrastructure cost on high-speed rail is pretty rough. Let's do a bit of number crunching here, shall we? Um, okay, here's your number. Seven nine seven eight hundred. Seven nine seven eight hundred. Ten units of regular rail. I don't know how much that went up by, but it went up by a number. If you can punch that number in chat, that would be great. I wasn't paying attention, so I don't know, but it went to eight hundred six thirty two. Uh, it's about three grand or so. How much does high speed rail cost? Double that. Not nearly as bad as I thought. I feel like maglev is uh, is more. At least we don't have the ugly maglev. I'm a little sad that it's gone, but this just looks so much sexier than maglev. It actually looks sexy in general. Yeah! And uh, it's not a lot of pixels to work with, but it really helps that rail pop out. The electric lines look less good, but they never did look great. Nice. 
Okay, let's get connecting up Africa. We've been talking around the issue for far too long. It needs to be done. And it's going to be done in the next session. <laughs> okay, oh, right, that seems the right place. Excellent. Saved up, 1991. A great year, I'm sure. Certainly be a great year for Africa if they want the sort of American help. American help that starts in Liberia. We'll get this all connected up next session. Should give us the money to also erect the rest of Africa and get that connected. And then from there, the world. It's snowballing nicely. It took about three bites or so to take care of South America. And it's a much bigger task to take care of Africa. We've got it almost all done in one go. But that's plenty of build-up to be done next session. So I'll be back with that likely tomorrow. I need to get back to packing. There's a lot of packing to do. I keep thinking I'm done with something and then I find more. How does one man have so much stuff? How does one man who does not read have so many books? That's the real question. But I finished off my book box. Still, until I'm back with more tomorrow, it is a cheers and a cheerio. Mm -hmm.